Okay, we are live. And, yeah, <clears throat> and we have two people. We have Stone Sour. Yes. And we have Kay Meenan. Yes. There yes. So I'm just trying to um, set up the live on Facebook. Blah, Facebook. <laughs> we are actually streaming on Facebook. So hopefully that... Uh, that works out so i don't know i'm trying to figure that out we did it live before mm -hmm. on facebook so but i think i messed something up so i don't know and if you can, when you're finished you can close the facebook so that yeah you, i'll just close it because so i don't know the, um restream doesn't get too wonky yeah i close it out because um the last time it just came right up but this time it was acting up, so I just closed it out. Yeah. So, like I said, we got Stone Sour, we got K Munin Shao Khan in there. Is there? We got okay. What's that name? Shao Khan. Shao Khan, the greatest emperor. And then we got Carlos. Uh, Carlos hey, Carlos. How are you? Oh, good from Facebook. Okay, so Facebook so is Facebook is working. Is working. Right. Okay, good, 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 good. So now we know we're on Facebook. Hey, Hank. Yes. How's it going? Carlos says that they hope to see us at Joe yeah, Fest. Yeah, we're we should gonna be, be there at, this weekend. Yes, it's yeah, this upcoming uh, weekend. We yeah. will be there. We'll be there for the Friday. So, I'll have more Batman. Okay, so what? I bought Batman from you before, I guess, is what you're trying to tell me. And you're coming out there to take all my money away from uh -huh. me. So I'm going to make sure that I avoid. And uncarded. It likes the beard. Well, <laughs> You know, again, my wife wanted to see what, what would you look like if you just keep kept that going. If you kept growing, Doctor Dan. Yeah. Um. And uh, and so I was like, okay, I can grow it out if you want to see. And now she likes it, so I'm gonna have it for a while, I guess. We're going for the ZZ Top. Where do you get Doctor Dan from? It's uh, DC Ohend. Hi guys, Doctor Dan. Oh, okay. I, I was just reading the um. See how you do me? <laughs> I was reading the thing. Well, we're glad you appreciate the content. Thank you. Yes, you bought Captain Planet and, and Batman. Batman. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah well, Captain Planet. See, he ain't no good. Oh, he came already... in and wants to know if we got the Tupperware. Yeah, I got the Tupperware. It was cheap. It we, was real cheap. I went to an estate sale. Yes. And um, they had it in a room, and it was a table full. And... They had it priced individually, and I asked the lady, I was like, if I get a bunch of these, will you bundle it and give me a deal? Uh -huh. And that day, it was, I went Friday, Yes, everything was already 25% off, so she yeah. added it all up, gave me the 25% plus another $10 off. Yeah. So and yeah, then the other guy it. was mad. It was a, there was a guy that was there, <laughs> he um, was a, picker. a professional picker. Because he got out of the car and he's looking over his shoulder at us funny. And I'm like, what's he staring at us for? And he gets in there and I'm over there and I start picking up the Tupperware pieces and he's reaching around me and grabbing stuff. <laughs> and then he's up at the table and he's arguing with the woman. You know, it's already dirt cheap. Yeah. Arguing with the woman. Listen, you know, I got to get this into my booth and I can only sell this for this much. Shut up. Yeah. Buy it or don't. It's already really cheap. You know. And it was 25% off. And I hate that approach. It's like, yeah, thanks for telling me that you're going to buy it for me and go sell it somewhere else. <laughs> and you want to haggle about it, too. Be quiet. <laughs> don't don't act like that. It's such bad etiquette. Yeah. Anyways, if yeah. you're a reseller, I think it's bad protocol <laughs> to yeah. kind of say you're a reseller. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, I, mean, and, I, don't and know. People I think bring stuff bad. to you sometimes. Like if you're a, do a toy or a comic dealer, and people bring stuff to you, and they know you are going to yeah. resell. Yeah, yeah, that's one but, thing. You know, there's a difference between like, okay, well, you know, let's see what we can do, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got thirty of these, so this is kind of crap. <laughs> uh, I can maybe do this. You know what I mean? <laughs> or uh, we'll meet somewhere in the middle. <laughs> 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 that lady wasn't kicking nobody out she no. wanted that house clear she needed to clear it somebody died you yeah know her, her both of her parents had died yeah and um 
so she was clearing the house out it had already sold she said they put it on the market it sold two days later and she needed the house empty mm -hmm. so they had the estate sale he got the butter dish i i would have taken that <laughs> butter dish the tupperware butter dish it's a 70s piece and i was like oh yeah, yeah. And it's like yeah he's like I, if I lifted my arm, he probably would have reached in between and grabbed around my chest <laughs> to pick stuff up. God, this guy was an octopus. Oh, my God. But, <laughs> anyways. But, yeah, we hope you had a very uneventful week. Yes. Um, hopefully nothing was going on major, um, that you had a very boring and bland week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes boring and bland is yeah. good. Or as Gary Gnu used to say, no good no Gnu's is good Gnu's. Yeah. Some of you know where that's from. Who knows where that's from? Somebody knows. I I think it's about maybe one person in this whole somebody stream. knows where that's yeah, from. Knows Come what that on means. now. Somebody now. knows. <laughs> but a theme. Yeah, we actually got another, another theme. theme. We had done the comic books then and now, and I had the vintage. I had the vintage um, Overstreet Guides, like mm -hmm. the 1981 Overstreet Guide and the 1988 Overstreet Guide. Today, I have a vintage action figure guide. Yeah. It's a little book. It's Tiny a vintage book. action figure guide. And just comparing some what of the year prices. Did that come out? I think this is a 2000 edition. Oh, okay. It was $12.99, $17.99 in Canada. Mm. But uh, <laughs> it's a vintage action figure guide with suggested because you can never trust the guys no. okay just saying um let's see dale says the greed yeah greed comes oh, out sure it does sure it does big time it's got gi joe 60s through 90s in here you know it's gi joe it's got okay. masters of the universe it's got thundercats it's got mask oh my yeah it's no got, no i'm reading raccoon <laughs> comment uh, early um, Toy Biz uh -huh. Migos in here, some stuff so we can we can kick that around and yeah. see what they used to ask. What's so, their comment? Um, happy weekend, guys. Mine got off to a good start. My town was on lockdown because some loony killed some family that's members. That's too bad. But they got them, so that's good. Yeah. I remember Gary Gnu. Gary Gnu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take David's we'll side. See says because of your affordable toy lines videos i was able to get a complete and near complete lines of meagle star trek hey. three and three quarter and glue oh see the shadow yeah, i the got shadow the shadow and space precinct all less than 100 yeah see there you go yeah, yeah that's and that's that's why we did the vi those videos and that kind of yeah. ties in with the uh, you know with this whole theme but that that was the importance of the videos which i did for 70s 80s and 90s figures of course oh um, mr moon's magic circle oh you blew it oh it's, it's not it's, Mr. Moon. It's the Great Space Coaster. Oh. It's a Great Space Coaster. Hop on board. I've never seen that. The great I Space have Coaster. a G.I. Joe book like that. Yeah. Dale says. Hey, well, just Jeff. Just Jeff just showed up. Yep. Yeah. And that's uh that's why I did those videos because some of the stuff is so huge. Like uh <laughs> vintage G.I. Joe, mm -hmm. vintage Masters of the Universe, vintage Silverhawks. And people look at that and they're like, oh, man, you know, they open their wallet and blow the dust out. And they're like, I can't do this. But there's a lot of great lines you might want to consider. That's why I did it. Where is the most trustworthy? I think that Source for word values right today. there, trustworthy, is yeah. skeptical. It still is. I mean, most of the time, unless it's something that's so rare, you just can't pin it down. Um, eBay's completed auctions will give you a feel for what uh things oh. are currently selling for mm -hmm. keep in mind that the completed auctions on ebay only go back 60 days oh so you don't even have a record of like the past year or something yeah no so they don't really they only have, go back 60 days now they don't like the in the comic book mm -hmm. you have sources like um go collect and yeah, yeah. other comic book that show you like trends over the last few years they don't have one for uh toys i don't think so mm. i don't think so i haven't seen it but it's hard <laughs> i mean because even with comic books it's hard to track toys unless you buy it on online because if you sell it like yeah. person to person um 
even on like Facebook Marketplace or at a toy show or a yard sale or something like that, there's no way to track it. Yeah, and again, I mean, there's certain pieces. I mean, that's and that's Justice Curry's go-to also because mm -hmm. he's talked about that several times because people always ask him, what's this worth? And he's like, man, I don't know. Go, <laughs> go look on eBay's completed auctions. And he's not trying to be rude. Yeah. It's just that unless it's something that's insanely rare mm -hmm. that there is nothing in completed auctions, then that's usually your best bet for a current market value. Okay, Munin pulled the rarest card from her first cyber cell, cyber cell chain saw man pack. Okay. Uncarded, remember now, great space coaster. Mark Hamill uh, guest starred on it once as Luke Skywalker. A name that I haven't heard in a long yep. time. Hey, Edwin. Edwin. I'm at McDonald's having a Whopper. My Mom, my wife. You can't have a Whopper at, at McDonald's. You have a Big Mac unless you just brought someone else's food into McDonald's. Oh, yeah, because Burger King has Whopper. <laughs> yeah, so you got to have a Big you Mac or a quarter pounder with cheese. You bring food from another restaurant and sit down in there. When I worked at McDonald's, they didn't allow it. Because uh -huh. one day I went across the street to Captain D's. <laughs> and I came back. And sat in the lunchroom or oh, the dining no. room, whatever you call it. They don't like that. And they were like, no, <laughs> you can't bring in another company's. Uh, you still can't do that, I don't think. They kick you out. Stone or they, they ask you to move. Stone Sour says some people base the prices from eBay's buy it now prices, which is annoying. Yeah, because no. that's unrealistic. Yeah. Just because something um, has a buy it now price doesn't mean that that's what it's going to go for if you mm. put it on bids. Yeah. Um, scored a mint carded Mego. Star, uh, What's ST? Star Trek, uh, oh, Star Trek. 79 for 10 bucks oh, today okay. on eBay. No bidders. Okay. Wow. Hey, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick is here. How are you? Taking a look at uh, the concept. Look up his, of, um, uh, Mego, uh, Star Trek. See if that's in there. See how much it was worth in 2000. Um, no, I mean, is that a modern Mego? Oh, because you know they still make them. Oh, okay. So okay. It, it won't be in here. Oh, it won't okay, be okay, in okay. here. If anybody's curious. But do they have the old Migo? Yeah, the old Migo Star, original Migo Star. Yeah, Trek is let, in here. let's see what that's worth. All right. Well, so, which character is it? Oh, there, there's nobody called Seventy Nine. Oh, I don't know. Well, who is that, <laughs> Doctor Dan? Yeah. Tell us the, the name um, of the character, so David can look have, it up. If you are curious about a loose or carded figure that mm -hmm. you know is particularly valuable, and it's in here because it's not an an all inclusive guide. Look naturally. up Scare Glow. See what Scare Glow Scare, is. Oh, oh he said Miko Captain, Captain Kirk. Kirk from seventy nine. Oh, 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 okay, okay, the movie one, the um Star Trek the motion picture. He means. Hi. If it's in I here, okay. Can't for uh, seven. What I can't what. I can't seven C. I don't know. I can't even see you. Okay. So the price is in that book. I'm sure the price. Yes, I'm pretty sure they've doubled because it was like that when we did it for the comic books, and it was like heartbreaking. Yeah. Here we go. Star Trek the, the motion picture. Kirk, mint on the card, fifteen to eighteen dollars. Well, 15, he got his for ten. Yeah, that's so he not did bad. A real good that's not bad. Hit. Yeah. Uh, Reston is there. Yeah. You wanted to see uh, Masters of the Universe Scare Glow. Yeah. How oh, this will hurt one? your feelings, I'm sure. Let's Some see. of the buy it now prices are just obscene. Yeah, you're right. You know what gets me with the buy it now is sometimes you'll find a, a figure because I saw um strawberry shortcake uh the, the person had it complete oh. with the box hey justice the, curry how are on. you there's justice we were just talking about you yeah. actually justice uh how uh people um because you know we're talking uh toy prices then and now and mm -hmm. i have a vintage 2000s book here and so we're looking up what stuff used to cost. Like she just asked about Scare Glow on the card. Yeah. Scare Glow on the card, it says, should be between $135 to $150. Wow. But see, the and, thing, because we were talking mm -hmm. about buy it now. K. Munin was talking yeah, about yeah. buy it now. And the thing that gets me, sometimes the prices are obscene. 
But what it'll get you is like I was saying, um, I saw a strawberry shortcake uh, gazebo and the person had it complete and they wanted like $23. But yep. then they wanted $35 shipping. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> wishful thinking. It's not is what that is. Isn't it, it it doesn't cost that to ship it. So then that make you feel some kind of way because they had it on bids. Nobody was bidding on it. It's it's been reposted like three times already. Yeah. And it's like lower the shipping costs and maybe you'll get some takers. Nobody's gonna pay. $35 for shipping and you know you can ship it for cheaper. Yeah. He says it means I can't see. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 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 Um, the What we were saying about justice, by the way, was uh, oh. that people always are asking him, how much does this cost? And he's like looking eBay's completed auctions because unless it's something that's really rare and you have to ask, hey, I, I haven't seen one of these for sale in years then you can probably find most of it in the completed auctions. What was the Castle Grayskull mm. in 2000? Castle Grayskull. In 2000. All right, let's see. Let's you see. need to do your homework on toy prices. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. Movie this is... figures. Yeah. Scarecrow was super, Scarecrow was super cheap. I would get that, but now it's like you got to win the lottery to get that. So what do you do? You pass it by. Or you just wait. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Mint in the box. Uh, mint in sealed box, $250. Wow. Because the Castle Grayskull now <laughs> is over 1000 complete yeah. in the box, right? Yeah, loose complete, 80 bucks. Mm. Mint in the box. Mint sealed box, 250 if the box is open, one ten. <laughs> yeah, those shipping prices. That's they'll where, fool you. Well, the people. That's where they try to make their money, I guess, because they got to pay all these eBay fees. Well, and I guess I get it. Yeah, but you know, but they, still, eBay's wise to that. They get you on the they they hit your fee on that shipping too. Do they? <laughs> yes. 12, oh wow! I didn't know that. Twelve point nine percent. In case anybody's wondering, and by the way, Macari is the exact same amount. Twelve percent just for shipping. Twelve point nine percent. So thirteen on your total earnings. Twelve point nine percent is the average. And uh, DC, I would love to get Knickerbocker or Lord of the Rings. They are incredibly expensive. Two hundred fifty to five hundred. Yeah. If you ever see loose ones at the show, I never see that stuff. I wonder if that's in here. Lord of the Rings. Do you remember a character called Duke of Doubt? Duke of Doubt. I don't. I don't think I, I've never uh, heard that. Around. I don't ooh, think I've never heard that of that. Sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Let me see. I'm I, sick of worrying about the boxes unless it's something special. Uh -huh. I like to have the boxes. Play sets, like I got a couple of play sets with no boxes, and I'm cool with that. As long as it's um, complete, because I, I, I like to have it complete. But if it's a box, like the one I was telling you about earlier, the strawberry shortcake um, gazebo, the box was a wreck. Yes. But it was complete. So that made it like, okay. But then $34. And Tommy is there. Yeah. Hey, Tommy. Um, Lord of the Rings is not in the book. Oh. Nope. No Lord of the Rings for you. If we're discussing the prices of modern figures, I collect Japanese imports, yet somehow some of those manage to be cheaper than some of the Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What does Reston say there? Shipping should be should only be higher if it's coming from, yeah. from the UK overseas, but in the US, they're just getting more money that way. Don't buy from those types of sellers. I don't buy. It really yeah. turns me off. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'll see some, and, and sometimes it's something, you know, I'm really wanting, I've been waiting on. Um, mm -hmm. But if I see that you got some kind of ridiculous price, uh, shipping costs, yeah. even if the price is low, because then that makes the price go way up, mm -hmm. you know, in the long run when yeah. the cookie finished crumbling. Um, I just don't buy. It. And one person, I actually, <laughs> I actually sent them an email because they were they were selling some records. They had a lot of records. 
I can't remember how many. But then they wanted like $80 shipping. And I and I sent them a message. I'm like, look, you know, I'm interested in buying this. The price what? is good, but that yeah. shipping cost is ridiculous. Can you uh you know, if I give you my zip code, could you adjust the shipping? And he was like, No, it's already packed. <laughs> so <laughs> it's already packed and I got it uh, where you, you know, some kind of long thing about how it's, it's packed. It's not going to be damaged and I'm not going to go back through all that. This is yep. a shivery guy. So I'm like, okay. Dale wants to know about me. He goes, give me one specific. You want to see superheroes or Star Trek? Or, yeah. Or name somebody and I'll look it up. And Munin says shipping costs can be a deal breaker. Yeah, yeah sure. I, I've passed on, a, on several uh things on auctions and buy it nows because of the shipping costs and it's just ridiculous it's like no now sometimes i've got over on shipping i bought a couple of things where the person didn't adjust the shipping i bought that uh raggedy ann and andy um toy box oh yeah <laughs> and the person had the shipping for ten dollars <laughs> and i knew it shouldn't have shipped for ten dollars i knew that and I and I and I sent the guy a message and I'm like, is this the right price? And he said yes. So I bought it. And after he, I guess, looked at it, he was like, Oh man, I, I forgot to adjust for the shipping, but you already paid. That's my bad. You you got over on me this time. And I and I asked him, Are you sure this is the price? Oh, I forgot, Hank. Um, are you sure this is the price? And he said, yeah. If somebody going to ask you to make sure the price, maybe you want to look and see what you got. Like, hey, why are you asking yeah. me that? Let me go back and double check. Toy right okay, price, he'll yeah. look down. Yeah, I'm looking. Hey, Battle Beasts are in here, Justice. Oh, Battle Beasts. Battle Beasts are in mm -hmm. here. <laughs> I don't know how they could possibly list them all. What you looking for, the Toy Biz Joker? Yeah, I'm looking for the bat. Uh, there's a ton of bat. Uh, Batman. I'm just trying to fi find the right one. Oh, yeah. The know, Joker from the 89 Batman movie. Yeah. Batman Beyond, mm -hmm. Dark Knight Collection, Night Force, Legends. Lego prices go up with the price of gold, even though they are hitting... Yeah, we were at Walmart today, and it was a bunch of Lego on uh, clearance. I was surprised because that stuff you really never see come down. But they're starting to now. I think people are starting to feel some kind of way about just buying in general because of the inflation. You found it? No. Oh, okay. There's a crap ton of Batman listings, and I'm looking. Uh, Kenner 1992. That I, can't be it. I buy books from all over mm -hmm. internationally, and it's cheaper than I can get them in the United States. And the shipping isn't that bad. Wow. That's That's weird. It's yeah, really. Because people are just trying to get over on you. Oh, yeah, he says the superheroes, Dale. The Migos oh, superheroes. superheroes. Okay. And I can't Is see. This it? I have two McFarlane Toys 3D movie posters that have never been opened. Friday the 13th and Elm Street. Mm. It looks like 20 bucks. Hmm. For, the, uh, for that. He wants to see me go Mr. Fantastic, huh? I have a loose one in mint condition. Okay, so Mr. Fantastic. Green, okay, Green Goblin. Green Goblin and Mr. Fantastic? Mm-hmm. Because that's, uh, this I saw. World's Greatest Superheroes. And Justice loves the Battle Beast. I know, that's why I asked. The, uh, <laughs> so he's got, he's got tons of them. And according to this, uh -huh. um, wow, Battle Beasts don't cost much at all, Justice. You shouldn't have a hard time at all. Hmm. I mean, look at those prices. Look Nobody can see that fine print. You have about seven to ten bucks a piece, uh, Justice? Yeah, in 2000. <laughs> not in 2024. <laughs> wow. You found Mr. Fantastic? Except for, oh, well, that, that comes up a little bit here. The very, because um, when you get to the end of the run here, Numbers, oh, where does it start? Numbers 89 on start going up as high as ranging between 65 to 250. Oh, wow. 
Back wow. in 2000? They yeah. were already coming up. Yeah, I know it. Let me see here if I can find Mr. Fantastic. Okay. Then we'll get moving again. Yeah, then we'll get moving again. Voltron, Wizard of Oz. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let me see. Oh, that's all the DC ones. They need they split it up by okay. By On DC Macari, if the shipping is overweight, what you pay as a buyer, they charge the difference to the seller for making that mistake. Mm. On Macar, um, on Macari, Mister Fantastic mm -hmm. window boxed, one hundred and forty to one hundred and fifty five sealed. Okay, mint on the card, sixty dollars. And what was the other one? Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Okay. Hi, Zom. How are you? We haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Good to see you again. In oh, here we go. Green Goblin. Oh, wow. What? I see. I don't know if this is still accurate, but Green Goblin in the box, 290 Wow. Green Goblin carded a thousand and twenty-five dollars. Oh my God! Wow, wonder why Green Goblin is that much. It's <laughs> original know. something. Tweaky from Tweaky. Buck Rogers. Oh, oh yeah, the Tweaky. Worth yeah. a new rubber waistband. If you got them loose, you got them oh, loose, and you want to change his waistband? Sure, why? You may as well. Lego is ridiculously pricey. A uh, friend of mine, wow, on one set over a year ago. We know somebody uh, who just got the, oh, what is it, um, the Titanic. Mm -hmm. They just got the Titanic. I don't know what it cost. And he says another great cheap line they were able to complete was the Toy Biz Fantastic Four. Huh. Oh, yeah, lots of characters, vehicles, and awesome 14-inch Galactus that didn't cost 700 bucks. Yeah, because yeah. the old Toy Biz, the pre Build a figure, toy biz figures. Yeah, they're seriously inexpensive. They yeah. don't cost much at all. They don't cost much at all. And Zomb asks people to hit the like button. Yes, please do. Please hit mind. the like button. The, uh, and that that that's the thing I warn about too. And then also comparing modern figures to the vintage ones, which mm -hmm. I do from time to time. Like Playmates, for example, was trying to, and they quit. They gave up doing this because they canceled the star trek line they were reissuing those star trek figures on the card but the cards were shorter but they looked exactly the same and i'm like you're charging like a 13 dollar retail on this it's like 12.95 at target or whatever mm -hmm. i can buy the original playmates star trek for like one and two dollars out of the bins it shows bent on the card because nobody wants them and they used to be a big deal. Mm -hmm. There was, uh, especially with the gimmick they had, I don't know how many people remember, or if you've ever noticed, there's a serial number printed on the foot, on the bottom of the foot of every figure. It's sequential. So as they come off the assembly line, 202, 203, 204, and they get stamped, the lower the number, the higher the premium was in the 90s. If you had a, a number under 100, you could get a lot more. If you had a, a number 10 and under, the sky's the limit of was selling that stuff on eBay auctions and crap. Now nobody cares. Yeah. Nobody cares. And the stuff's in dollar bins. And so you got modern figures selling for more than vintage ones. Something I complain about all the time. Like the big one for me was the um oh Playmates Shogun Warriors mm -hmm. figures. Uh, or no Ronin Warriors, excuse me. The Playmates Ronin Warriors. You can still get them on auction, mint on the card for like about 50 bucks a piece. But the new ones, I forget who's manufacturing them, but they're damn near two hundred dollars each. Oh wow! New, and I'm like, I'd rather have the old ones. What are you doing? Um, I never understand why Lego is mm -hmm. so expensive since they make lots of sets. I don't know precision parts. <laughs> I think because they got all the like the different licenses. Well, well everybody got a you license. Know what too, so I take that back. Whenever you buy anything new, it always costs more, which mm -hmm. is why TVs are so cheap now. The flat screens are drop dead cheap now. They used to cost thousands. Yeah, we saw the fifty five so inch at Walmart. When you're when you're dealing with a Lego set and they have to uh, they have to tool it mm -hmm. and they have to plan it out and map it out, so you're paying for all of um, all that's involved in the process of creating it. 
and then they're not going to sell it again. They're not going to keep cranking them out. They're going to cut it off at some point. So you never get that down charge where uh, uh, over time they can charge less and less for it. The Titanic is $700. That's a lot. Any Toy Story prices in there? Toy Story? Um, I don't know if Toy Story would be in here. Would it? Then they, oh, yeah, that came out after 2000, right? I don't remember when I the first Toy Story came, came out. out. I can look. But do they make just regular old Legos anymore? You remember when we were kids? It was just Legos. You got a bag, a box of just the squares. Yeah, and it might build something, but you didn't get a blueprint. No, you, you build that thing out you, of your head. You look at the box and you try to copy it. Yeah, Strawberry. or you just came up with some stuff. Strawberry shortcakes in here. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Um, <laughs> but now, oh, I missed one. And Ninja Turtles. But now every time a, a a Lego come out, it's some type of diorama or whatever you want to call it. It's it's something you got to build. It's not just a pile of blocks and you make your own thing. You know, you make yourself a fort or a house or something you know out of your own thoughts and ideas there is no um toy story no toy story in here i used to have all of the mcdonald's transformer beast war toys okay and playmates uh, scored a lot of soured toys. a lot of collectors oh, with the number scam what killed it with playmates with the star trek and they actually surrendered the license was the uh 1701 series that was one of the earliest incarnations, aside from McFarlane's spawn line, of action <laughs> figures with uh, chases. Because yeah. the 1701 was a chase series. They only made, and it was a homage to the serial number of the original Enterprise. Oh, okay. And so they only made 1,701 of each of a certain number of figures. And then all of the Playmates collectors, which by this time, I believe Playmates had produced... 420 different Star Trek action figures. Mm. And people are like, how am I going to get one of these? Are you <laughs> kidding me? They were so upset at that. They were so upset at that. Street Shark reissues that you guys showed last night are silly. Mm -hmm. Guess these companies are, they've been running out of ideas. That's why they keep really yeah, well, making the same creative thing. Creative bankruptcy. Yeah. It's creative bankruptcy in toys, <laughs> comics, movies music television yeah yeah tv shows um books you know novels or whatever um anything you can think about is creative bankruptcy because all they do is recreate something somebody else already did oh let's reimagine it like yeah. the color purple or oh god that was um, really bad anything just name it yeah. oh we heard and it, and, and it came out okay you remember bob seeger uh turn the page and we heard the metallica version <laughs> that's terrible yeah and i know i know many of y'all uh probably know the bob seeger turn the page and uh -huh. you know when you hear that song and you listen to it it sound like this is a story that he wrote this yeah. actually happened on one tour yeah. And you can kind of feel it just listening to it. It's very mellow. Little music going on. Then Metallica sings it and it's all yeah. rocked out. And I mean, yeah, they're a rock band. But still. It's their homage. Yeah, but it seems like it just took away. It stole whatever Bob Seger wrote. Because it seems like, okay, they the end of the tour or during the tour, they at the restaurant, they're just sitting down eating. And he just wrote those lyrics out. And it, and it had a lot of passion and stuff in it. Yeah. Then Metallica comes and, sings, and like, screams it. <laughs> screams it out. <laughs> it is the same with any movie or anything yeah. that they do. It's like, why did you need to redo that? Surprise! The old toy based Marvel figures are so cheap. Yeah. You would think people would feel nostalgic for them. Every kid on the playground in the '90s had them. Yeah, when and I the, was a kid. the Spider Man, the Fantastic Four lines, the X Men. Oh, Toy Story came out in '95. Okay, I I don't remember, but yeah, all those lines now, and they went for a lot. I remember when um you could get aftermarket wow. like fifty bucks a piece for um forty fifty a piece for the Rhino because you just couldn't get them anywhere, you know. Uh, now, how much is he going for? It's a lot less than that. Nobody cares. 
but they did produce a lot of those figures. But yeah, it, mm -hmm. it didn't start getting popular. Uh, well, it was popular, but it, the ones that have retained any value now are the ones with the Build-A-Figure parts when they started doing that. Yeah. I saw somebody YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. They had the Batman at, um, uh, not, uh, wing, a Batwing, the Lego Batwing. Man, that was nice. I was like, wow, that looked really good. And he showed, you know, the stages of him putting it together and how he was going to put it up. It looked really good. But I'm like, you know, I looked it up just to see how much it cost. I'm like, man, it's no way. You're paying for the engineering and tooling that yeah. goes into these complicated Lego sets. Mm, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know you're right, but golly, come on. Power Rangers, the movie Megazord. Look, look it up, please. Yeah, I'm looking at. There's no Megazord. no Power Rangers in here. Really? Nope. Planet of the Apes, Mego, and then it goes into Secret Wars, but Dude. no, um, no Power Rangers. Oh, wow. They got Spawn in here. McFarlane Spawn. That stuff used to get. Oh man, Malbolgia used to get over a hundred dollars um, mint on the card. Do Back you both the remember the first toy action figure you bought when you started your serious collecting? You remember? Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, you all know that story. <laughs> okay, tell us. It's this figure right here. David and LPH, you know what I other toy what tubers do you watch? Um, Honestly... I don't think I'm really subscribed to a lot. I just, you know how when you just watch a, a, a channel all the yeah. time, it just comes up. I don't know who it is. I well, just we watched, watch. Watch Justice Curry. Yeah, we watch we Justice, Justice Chuck Curry. Curry a lot. Toy Chic, actually. Oh toy yeah, Toy Chic. Toy Chic. <laughs> Black um, Knight. Yeah, we've, we've Black looked Knight. At Black Knight. Plenty of times. Seven, seven twenty or something. Black Knight. Yeah. He comes on here all the time. Um, I've told the story before. This is the one that jumped me off. And, uh, you know, some of you might not know this story, but this is the one. I had this figure when I was a kid for like a day. And I'll tell the story again. Okay. Because, you know, I'll be right back. Curious. And there he is, mitten his box, on pretty much unplayed with his stickers in there, too. It just fell off because, you know, with age and it's floating around the bottom of the uh, package here now. But that's my uh, Kung Fu Grip land adventurer land adventurer and when i was a kid i don't know where it came from but i had one of these and my mother said to me um i don't like war toys so you can't have them unless you get rid of all the accessories so she took the sticker she took the dog tags she took the rifle away but, you know, I was happy just to have one because this was the toy back in the days. If you grew up in that era, you know what I'm talking about. It was this or the $6 million man. If you had something like that, you were the king of the hill. And she was pissed off that I still wanted it. So she smashed the bits. She broke all of his joints, tore them apart. And so I barely had him the day. I don't remember even where it came from. You know, I was too young. So I, on um, Brighton Avenue in Alston, Massachusetts... There was a little niche toy store in like one of the basement stores on that street. And I'm in there looking around and I saw this in the box. I saw this in the box and I think they wanted like 50 bucks for it or something. And I was like, damn, that's my land adventurer. I remember that figure. And I, I had to have it. I had to have it. I bought it and it brought me down that bunny trail. If, and this was like in the late Oh, God, it was, might have been 80, 1989 or something, 1988, 1989 that I got this. And it brought me down the bunny trail because then I was like, you know, what other G.I. Joes? Uh, what about uh, all those Arras? Because I used to like the Arras G.I. Joe growing up, too. Things like that. And uh, looking for stuff that I used to have or that I used to want. And so that's uh, that's what jumped me off there. And let me see here. Let me catch up a couple like. Dale says, I knew it was a G.I. Joe. Sure, man, that's classic. G.I. Joe is classic. Munin says, McFarland Spawn figures have really gone down in value. Figures that were once considered rare are now worth a couple dollars at most. Well, I mean, he brought the concept of variants from the comic book world. Because you remember the Spider-Man, number one, was the first, one of the big jump-offs. Superman, uh, Man of Steel was the first comic book variant 
but the Spider-Man was the first one to really pull that off. And he brought that concept to toys and he would have variants of those spawn figures and then say, oh, it's a mistake because the Chinese factory didn't understand what I meant about certain colors. Well, you don't type out what color you want on a form. You send them a swatch. You, you give them a pattern. You did that stuff on purpose, McFarlane. Give me a break. And Tommy says, nice. Zomb says his spawn Malbolgia right out of the package back in the day fell apart. Oh, wow. And Dale says, that's what I collect the old G.I. Joes. Yeah, I love the old G.I. Joes. Uh, anything from uh, 64 to like 95-ish. You know, I even like the Sergeant Savage line. I thought that was a pretty good attempt. Out of sight is here. Hey, out of sight. Yeah. Dale says he's from 1974. Yeah. Uh -oh. And hey, David. David is here. Glad you could join us. Mm -hmm. And I can't see. He says, I watch channels about 80s and 90s cartoons, even ones that stream them on Saturday mornings. So oh, there you go. Yeah. We just we watch a bunch of them. Right now we're watching Smurfs, uh, Star yeah, Blazers. Yeah. Star Blazers is fantastic. And um, Bernstein Bears. Yeah, the Bernstein Bears. Hank says, thanks, David. You had to make me cry with that Joe story. Now I don't <laughs> like your mother. She was not a very, she was a cruel person. Let's just leave it there. You get the idea. She she did stuff like that all the time. Raccoon Eyes remembers all of those Spawn Angela variants. Yeah, and there was a variant of the Malbolgia. There were color variants of that, color variants of other figures. And he was like, oh, it's an accident. At the fact, he has no accident, buddy. You did that on purpose. <laughs> Sadly, when the internet hit, it brought the uh, brought us many non-toy collectors just to make a buck. Sadly, continues to do. Yeah. yeah, and you see that a lot at shows with toys and comics. You know, these people are not collectors; they don't care nothing about nothing. And you could tell by the way they display, the way they handle the stuff, and um, they're just in it for the money. They don't they want mm -hmm. every dime they could possibly get. Do you have any opinions on Biff Bang oh, Pow? Yeah. Stop making me go. I know I got a couple. I'm not sure why they, they why they pulled dances. out. Yeah, I'm not sure awesome. why they did that. I got their Twilight Zone figures and uh, what outer? No, not outer limits. Uh, I got the, that. the monsters. Oh yeah, the monsters. Oh no, those oh, were Diamond Select. Yeah, they? those were Diamond those Select. Those were Diamond Select. I know I got something else by them, but um, I have the, the Twilight Zone. The the twi yeah, the Twilight Zone from Biff Bang Pow and Sideshow. Yeah, the Sideshow, Twilight Zone and Outer Limits. Yeah, yeah, Biff Bang Pow was good. They had a lot of good stuff, and then they just dropped off. Maybe they got bought out. Thinking of jumping back into classified. <laughs> but don't want to chase after all the army builders for twenty five dollars yeah. each. I mean, I had to get off that bandwagon a long time ago because it's just I, I got tired of tear, uh, running around trying to find anything. We saw the shipwreck today at our Walmart for six dollars. Uh huh. And then those big old carded uh Lady J and um Baroness. Oh yeah, shipwreck was six bucks. Yeah. The classified, uh, yeah. the classified shipwreck was six dollars. Lady J, the big one on the card, like she was seven. No, she oh, was seven. seven. So, okay, and okay. Baroness was fourteen. <laughs> so I mean, you know, they cost so much. What Spider Man yeah. book? This is a, an action figure price guide from like two thousand. So a vintage price guide, and mm -hmm. we were just having a little fun with looking up what you might have paid for this stuff back then if you're curious so if you have an action figure or toy and it's in here because it doesn't have everything if if it's in here then um i'll look it up and yeah. you'll see what you could have had it for if you were in on top of things in the year 2000. um also on tubi they have a lot of vintage um cartoons on there and i try to pick out uh, some that we've never seen or or ever heard of before yeah. and watch those and that's how i found jason the real warriors that was on that was, that a good was show a, too. actually a really good show and the yeah. other one with the kids in the in space and they were fighting um that other race of people oh god kids in space yeah they were a young group in in um space academy 
and you don't remember and it was another one um exo squad the exo squad was good we found that on um one of the streaming apps exo squad was really good and i liked how they dealt with like i don't know if he's want to say racism but i like how they dealt with that yeah. on the show you know they made that comparisons with the humans yeah. and the in the in the non-humans the humans that they made up you yeah. know i like that i can't think of that other show though but there were uh there were some some young kids in in uh space academy i think i know the one you're talking about they weren't kids they were cadets yeah they were cadets, yeah, they were they were cadets. Kids, like 18 uh -huh. years old and Dorian says Hasbro's in trouble. Maybe it's time to bring back the one six scale. Well, I mean, they'd have to do something akin to trying to revive the Hall of Fame series that they did in the nineties. <laughs> no, there's no pops in the books. So no, sorry. you got to go Shame to Pop Price you. Guy no. for that. Oh. Yeah, Tubi <laughs> is a good is a good go to for cartoons and anime, cartoons, yeah. anime, and kung fu movies. Yeah, we like we watch a lot movies. of kung fu movies, and the majority of them we find on um, hey Gilgamesh, hey Gilgamesh, we find on on Tubi, yeah, so, yeah, they're they're go to uh for free Exo TV. Squad figures are because uh, uh, David, I'm reading ahead there in the comments, and David says Exo Squad is awesome, yeah, it's a great show, and the toys are really cool from Playmates mid 90s, and they're expensive now. Yo, thank you, Stone Shower. Made a kitty donation. Mm, he and him you know, and them darn cats. Well, you, you can know, have them all. You know we take care of a lot of uh, shelter cats. Yeah, we do. Yeah, but we, yeah, do. The, we the got another one. The toys are fantastic, but they're... Um, and again, Playmates made them. Yeah, and they're expensive. Really though. nice box art on those too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they they went. They're, they're one of the 90s ones that really jumped off because a lot of the 90s stuff hasn't jumped off yet which mm -hmm. is if you're interested in any of the 90s properties and i talked about that a lot in our 90s toy video mm -hmm. that um if you want them now's the time because as people start to remember these shows mm -hmm. people look back and yeah i used to watch earthworm jim these only cost how much you know what i mean yeah they'll, they'll start spiking after a time zom just found an exo squad mech suit no yeah. figure we saw one time at a toy show, we saw some um, Exo Squad stuff. Mm -hmm. and you don't see it often. No. Hover Attack Batman from Batman Hover and Robin Attack 97. Okay. Look up, please. Sure. A lot of those 80s and 90s cartoons would make good video games. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, Exo Squad. How to teach your kids about war crimes, racism, and uh there aren't any parachutes in space david would you look up the go real ghostbusters for me okay here we go okay. you mean the hover jet batman yeah he said well he, yeah hover oh. jet i guess he said hover attack mint on the car ten dollars wow. what was the other one real ghostbusters oh the ghost but oh real ghostbusters the real one yeah so you mean um the ones way back they were in the 70s right or early the 80s. original filmation live action saturday morning ghostbusters mm -hmm. was early 70s yeah. and that show is funny hey robert you're late hey robert how long has this been so, we've been going now for 45 minutes yeah same on you no the convention <laughs> is next weekend yeah next weekend yeah not today it's next yeah weekend. and we're gonna go there on friday because we have pass it, press passes, yeah. So we'll get in there early and film, and then we'll, and go, back then we'll go back on Sunday. Yeah, I just completed all of Able Squad. Oh, from Exo Squad. Wow, all right. That Mask and Ghostbusters are my vintage jam. Hey, I got, I know Mask is in here. Okay, so he said, uh, was there the something real specific, something specific from Real Ghostbusters? I, found I guess it. just to get an idea. Oh, okay. So like uh like the original Egon Peter Ray and Winston mm -hmm. from 1986 about 60 bucks a piece mint on the card. Really? That's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but that's in 2000 you said it came out in the 70s so No. The uh, the real Ghostbusters is based on the cartoon show. Yeah, that came out in the 70s. 
No, Teresa. The oh, original. oh, the real, yeah, 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 yeah. I used to watch that. Real Ghostbusters yeah, the real came ones. out in 1986. Yeah, yeah, I used to watch. But that. I was saying the original incarnation. Oh, that's what that, you got it That was the up. basis for the for the movie mm -hmm. that that um that Dan Aykroyd based the film on was a filmation Saturday morning live action show. Okay, yeah, I that's used to okay. watch the cartoon. Yeah, we'll watch the live action show sometime because I got it on disc. It is funny. Oh, I love the gorilla on that show. Uh, Can you look up Merlin with the horse from Empire's Knights of Empire's Legend? Empire's Knights Knight of, of Legend. Legend. If it's in here. If, if it's, it's in, in here. Because, you know, again, this is not, like, definitive. Oh, is it, there's LJN's Dungeons & Dragons is in here. <laughs> uh, I love your mini uh, collection tours. I hope that LPH does uh, collection tours, too. I, I'm, I'm well, I, really wanting to change my stuff around and yeah. I've just been too lazy to do it because I don't know what I want to put in its place. I want to put up more vintage it's not stuff. In here. Oh, it's not, not in, here? in here. I want to put up more vintage stuff, but I think I got more modern stuff than I do vintage. Yeah, David says now the street sharks are revealed. We can expect other obscure action cartoons to appear again in figure form, hoping for double dragon. You can still find the original double dragon figures, I think, pretty cheap though. Yeah, the only time I like it street when sharks they... is one of those rare examples where the originals are expensive. But the only time yeah. I like when they do reissues is if the original is so expensive, it would make the reissue make sense. Yes. You know, like you said, Street Sharks, um, they did Brave Star, Masters yeah. of the Universe. It, it allows you to at least get something. But then, okay, we don't need to keep making it over and over and over and over again. But I like it then because at least you can get something. You know what I mean? Yes. But then. That makes sense. Then they do every wave seems like it has the same characters in it. Or they don't get to other characters that wasn't made yeah found the flock moss man yes yeah we saw that today it was for yeah. i think it was less than 17 at the walmart yeah but we saw but that still today. that's not a bad yeah price. that's a good price yeah. it's coming down uh walmart has a lot of uh has yeah. a lot of clearance well they, they start the planograms early you know mm -hmm. they got to go through at least two sets of planograms because they get to reset it for summer and then they get to reset it again for uh for winter for the christmas season it is cartoons from the times that were not woke yeah yeah I awesome know. hey just jeff yes, yes those and what david said look up cowboys of moo mesa oh you're reaching i don't know if that's going to be in here that i know what you're talking about though it's the same line as like bucky o'hare and stuff like that oh. i will look i don't know if it's going to be here because it does to me, it doesn't seem like it will for this mm. guide. How much but, is the 1970s GI Joe astronaut? Um, his hat astronaut? is worth a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, I know the talking one or the regular one. I got the talking one sitting right up there, and he works. Oh yeah. Yes, he does. Mm. I can let you listen to him if you really want to hear it. Did you watch uh, the Oscars with DeVito and Penguin and uh, Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze talking to Keaton Batman? We don't watch that stuff, but we, but have, you saw the per, clip. we have heard about that and we saw some of the clip. Yeah, but I haven't, uh, I have, you know, I don't watch the Oscars. I don't watch any award shows. I saw the clip with John Cena. He had looked Cowboys. so embarrassed. Like he did not want to do that. He came out butt naked not a stitch of clothes on and he looks so uncomfortable well when you've sold your soul <laughs> to uh to the industry you'll do anything but that just seems like it was way too far you're looking up that gi joe right yes okay that just cowboys looked, is not in here cowboys is not no. in here the 1970s gi joe but that just looked he just looked like he he was just like oh my god how did I get myself into this? Well, he sold his soul. And, you know, what are you going to do? Let me see. Oh, my mom. She's doing okay. She's in a yeah, nursing yeah. home. Um, and it's right down the street from me, less than five minutes away. It's, it's six miles away from me. And I work in an area, <clears throat> so I get to go and visit her during my lunch break. And then me and David go on the weekend. She's getting better mentally because she had a stroke. 
and the stroke caused, it was a certain type of stroke. It didn't cause any her to be paralyzed or anything, but it did give her a type of Alzheimer's. And they said that the type she has, she could possibly recover. And you can see that some of her, um, I'm not, yeah, but she never really lost her memory. Like she knows who people is. She knows certain events, but she'll think that people that have died like 30, 40 years ago, yeah. um, 10, 11 years ago, are still alive and she saw them and where are they and mm -hmm. and all of this and now she's getting to the point if you remind her okay that person died she's like oh yeah okay i remember now you know but she's okay you know that's where we are with that talking astronaut mm -hmm. mint in the box 430 430 dollars loose you can get them as cheap as 90 bucks according to this mm -hmm. yeah the um because they had the the real Ghostbusters was the Saturday morning filmation based off of the original live action show and real Ghostbusters, which they called it on purpose because of the conflict between them and filmation. They called it the real Ghostbusters mm -hmm. was based on the movie incarnations. Okay. Um, the convention we're going to next week is Toy Lanta. Yeah. Toy Lanta. Toy Lanta. So we'll be there next weekend. Yes. I wish conventions would... <laughs> how much do conventions usually charge? Do flea markets charge money? No. Flea, flea markets, markets don't. don't charge at all. Convention prices are all over the place. Yeah, it they depends. vary. They it vary. So it, it depends on the size and the location. But they, they vary. I have a Canadian Ghostbusters, okay. most of the figures. Jalopy and mm. piecing together the mansion because it beats just burning money, I guess. Yeah, he's talking about the filmation Ghostbusters. Those are tough figures to find. Visionaries is another. That one is ex very expensive. Yeah. yeah, Visionaries is very expensive now. Yeah. So if they came out with a new Visionary, I could see that. So people that would want it could get into it. I wonder if Visionaries is in here. Mm. Transformers is in here. Really? Yep. Your Strawberry Shortcake tour was sort of cool. Sort of cool, Robert. Come on. Uh -huh. It was amazing. The Street Sharks are $25 each, correct? If so, yeah, save I believe that's and right. buy vintage. <laughs> the, uh, no, Visionaries is not in here. Ooh. That book don't have nothing no. in it. You need to give that back. <laughs> give it back. We would go back in time. <laughs> no, I mean like don't use it. Uh I thought Street Sharks was like sectars, weren't they hand puppets? The animals were hand puppets. Mm. The action figures were action figures and they were in the seven inch range. They were comparable <laughs> to like Coleco um Rambo figures. Mm -hmm. At quote, they should be. Coleco made the sectar figures. But what they did was for the, you know, they had the bugs they would ride. They said, hey, why don't we make the bugs hand puppets? So you put your hand in the bug and then you sit the figure on top of it. And you go like this. And it was actually pretty clever, you know. The Walmarts in Canada never reduced their toy prices. Oh, yeah. And Shaky, Shaky Sex is start, um, oh. wanting to start their vintage, vintage Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah, I got get, mine started. Get ahead of it before the film comes out because all the speculative yeah. buyers are going to drive it up. Yeah, and it's already certain pieces are already kind of expensive. So yeah, now is the time to jump on that. Talking, I have several mitt in the box. Yeah, okay. Dale says he has has a mitt in the box. Okay. And Munin, even Tamashi Nations is going for older anime series. Mm -hmm. We're getting Ruroni Kenshin and Yu Yu uh, Hakusho figures released. Two of my favorite shows as a kid. Okay, okay. cool. And Robert says at least nobody started slapping anyone. Yeah, well, they faked that. I'm convinced that was faked. Yeah, but, you know, the that's whole, whole thing. The whole slap thing. I, again, you know, they have like two and a half minute delay to cut off in case anything goes wrong, but they let that slide through. Yeah. They have like a hundred shots of audience face reactions, but one angle of the oh, slap only. Mm -hmm. I doubt that. I doubt they weren't like at least a dozen cameras on stage or focused on stage 
But then afterwards, he still got his award and mm -hmm. everything. They just kept on like nothing, like nothing happened. Yeah, John, it was humiliating. I mean, how much of yourself did you sell? How much money did you get? I mean, yeah. You know, I think Is the whole the whole thing with China was set up to put him in this position. That was his humiliation ritual. Yeah, uh, the having whole to China thing. officially apologize to China in in Mandarin, China, in Mandarin <laughs> for saying that he thought Taiwan was a country. Give me a break. Mm. And he'll that that this one of those people will do anything for a buck. David, I know you have a, a complicated, complicated relationship. With Mezco, but the shadow figure is fantastic. I'm sure it is. I mean, when they do properties like that, they kind of nail it like Popeye or Nesperatu. Yeah. But and then they and then you, they'll come up with something you expect a lot from, and they'll let you down like the Ghostbusters set. Oh, okay. I can't see. Says Street Sharks had hand puppets right. and um, figures that did action when you pressed on the um, on the fin. on the fin. So they had action figures and they had hand puppets separate. Hey, Elite Action. Hey. Late to the show. Glad your mom is doing better. Yeah, she's doing better, but she still can't <laughs> walk or nothing. Uh -huh. I don't think that's going to happen. She, she, you know, that's no action going on right there, but, you know. David LPH by yo. Generic or store brand items <laughs> while she gets herself name brand stuff like yogurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, they do <laughs> buy you generic or store brand no, David does a lot of the shopping and he buys the generic uh -huh. in store brand. I don't buy a lot of that stuff. I want the name brand. And he's like, no, we can't afford that. It's made we the same factory. Buy. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> so he they just but, changed the box. Yeah, sure. But not when it comes to bread. He buys that bougie bread. He oh, yeah. can't eat just regular like bread. bread. Munin says Cena has always been embarrassing to watch. His fans <laughs> always got bullied in school. Wow. Especially that one kid who would come to school dressed like him. I never watched him <laughs> wrestle. I was way out of wrestling uh -huh. by the time he got there. So by the time I, you know, I saw him and I was like, okay, this guy is a wrestler. Then I saw some movies he was in. Um, but yeah, that whole. That whole thing at the war show was just ridiculous. And the look on his face, he couldn't even couldn't even make himself smile or make himself look comfortable. I mean, it's like God Lee. Oh, know? Visionaries is in here. I missed it. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, Visionaries is in here. According to this, all figures are an average price of about 18 to 25 a piece mint on the card, is what it says. Um, Robert doesn't care for Mexico, but he got to say, I like their Batman Two-Face <clears> and their <throat> Romita Spider-Man. Really okay. digging them. Okay. And what years does your price kind of go up to again? The, the, it's from the 2000s. Yeah. It's from 2000, but it's like, um, you know, their interpretation of value at the time. Robert says, do a collection tour of the knockoffs and third-party stuff might be fun um do we even I don't have, have a lot? lot well the durham but yeah the, the durham, durham industry aesthetic. stuff is uh is knockoffs and i got a couple of other odds and ends oh, robert feels weird like in girl stuff there's nothing wrong with the <laughs> strawberry shortcake it's all right if it's vintage stuff but if you out there buying brat dolls and stuff like that then you know you might need to be set down but you know it's all right yeah yeah so true once dj hits yeah, um, Beetlejuice. Price, yeah, prices will. Yeah, because all you get the speculative buyers. The same thing that happened with the toys that made us documentary, mm -hmm. and they After showed. All, yeah, yeah, the prices flew, yeah. and then, um, and then afterwards, they started coming back down again to where they were because people bought them on spec because of the documentary, and then. After it sat around for a while and they didn't give a damn about it, they sold it again and it and dumped it all back into the market. Hank wants to know: Would you like a Tomart's Hot Wheels oh, price? Oh, Tomart's high price. Uh, sure. Yeah, we'll put it in a nice place. Oh, uh, yeah. he got a, a bookshelf with mm -hmm. like um, tomes and other pricing guys and stuff. Yeah, we'll yeah. gladly put it up and look through it. A tome is a really large book. Like when you buy 
uh, like the Mad Magazine anthology or the complete uh, Charlie Brown or something in the mm -hmm. books like this wide. I've got a ton of that stuff. In those highlight magazines. Oh yeah, we got a lot of vintage highlights. Those are now that's, <laughs> that's memory fun. central right there. We might have to do a video just turn in the page so people can look at yeah. it to remind you of highlights. Because the only time I ever saw highlights is in the doctor's office when I was a kid. Or dentists. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's the right. dentist's office. That's the only place I ever seen it when I was a kid. And I remember just liking going in there, getting the magazine and flipping through it and reading it. Yeah. And um then we started looking up and they went all the way back to what the 50s i think no i think they started in like 1946 or something yeah Actually, well we yeah, got some of the back. earlier ones we found them on ebay i've got a big lot off of facebook marketplace and, and they still make them Highlights yeah they still, still make them yeah but those are fantastic and I'll, you know i'll grab one just in case you're not sure what we're talking about it'll it'll jog your memory pretty quickly when you see it yeah how about a Micronaut time traveler? The only time I spent time in a police station was when I was stole, when I stole one from a oh, local no. <laughs> drugstore when I was 12 or 13. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. I can't see, says I bet uh, Arika stuff went up. Akira. Um, Akira. Akira. Oh, from um, Star Wars no, or whatever? No, Akira, the, the movie the kids on the bikes and that one kid no with bike. the telepathic powers and he get get and um the little kids that were psychic akira akira oh on the, the, the anime yes oh yeah and then those kids was locked up in that building yeah <clears throat> oh, okay okay yeah 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 because well, i mean you just started talking and i'm like oh, what no. in the world Okay. Okay, hold on. What is he... it worth your soul, man? Never. Pe people will pay Never. if you offer up the right oh, amount no. of money, just like that movie with Demi Moore and um and Woody Harrelson. And they're like, I'll give you a million dollars to sleep with your wife. You remember One that? One night with your wife. Yeah. Yeah. You'll never get that back. You don't know if she slept with that man or not, but still, how much is it worth to yeah. you? And John Cena, I guess it was enough money for him. Because now he got the lay down every time they say something. Micronauts Time Traveler, $30 mint on the card, any variant. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes me think about that recent um, video that, what's that Cat Williams did? And he was talking about how all of those Hollywood celebrities and all of the things that they had to do to get the parts that they get. And it's like, God, Lee, you want that part so bad that where's your standard? Where's that line in the sand? There should always be a line. I mean, you know, how far back does that line go? Highlights Magazine. You remember? What year is that one? This it tells one you. This one is the 1973 73. issue. Mm -hmm. And you remember, you know, it's got all these like stories and puzzles and. Let me move that banner out of the way. And things like that. Oh, yeah. Well, so people can see the thing. Yeah. See? Now you can Stuff see like good. that. Mm -hmm. This is this these were great. And they yeah. always had them in the doctor's office or in the dentist's office. Yeah. The newer one is, you know, is a, a magazine style paper, it's in color and all yeah, of that. Yeah, it's got more photographs. Um, yeah. That's all. But, but it's the, still got the same kind of concept to it. Yeah. But yeah, I love those magazines. Yeah, as this, a kid. this is a huge flood of memories when we mm -hmm. got these uh got these in. Yeah, but you can find lots of them on um eBay, Macari. Like I said, I got a huge lot off of Facebook Marketplace. Somebody was selling a ton of them and I got it super cheap. Yeah, so, there's not a huge demand for them, so you can get them for a decent price. Any toy line at Moon Dust, any toy line that pissed you off. Toy line, uh, vintage or modern? Mm. I mean, I, I, they frustrate me nowadays when they're like ridiculously expensive. Yeah, uh, any of them, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Or well, like the the Transformer My Little Pony. Oh God, yeah. I thought yeah, that was like certain, ridiculous. Certain crossovers make no sense. Yeah. Another thing that irritates me is when a toy line is being done by multiple companies yeah like how at many, once how many different companies are cranking out gi joe figures right now mm -hmm. or tr or uh, ninja, ninja turtles, turtles you know it, it, slow it down it, yeah I, I prefer it the way it was back in the day 
one company unless it was overseas and you yeah. had a subcontract like okay palatoy is going to make them but they're the same damn figure yeah there might be a variation in color but it's not on purpose mm -hmm. you know they, that's just the way it came out um and of course they are cards yeah. or whatever but that it frustrates me when uh modern toy lines how they keep cranking out um the same things over and over again and all these different companies are making basically the same thing mm -hmm. and all, all the prices on certain things are outrageous especially when the quality's not there yeah you know i got figures going all the way back to the 60s that are solid as a rock that were dirt cheap when they came out and cost less now than the modern figures that you're trying to push and yours fall apart in my hands when i take them out of the package or the paint all chips off, or something else is wonky with it. Love the shadow movie tie-in figures. Yeah, um, because of David's little 90s video, oh, yeah. toys that are still ultra cheap. Yeah. I bought those shadow figures, and all of them, only things that were expensive were the vehicles, and the vehicles weren't that expensive. They weren't that bad. Hobo is hobo. He's doing hobo type things. <laughs> he still you lives know. on the back porch. He got his own little house now that he keeps and the kittens sleep with him and all of that yeah. they all cram themselves in the little um <laughs> it's an outdoor habitat uh, the, yeah a little habitat that they've broken he know because I, it's a yeah. wooden one and it's three of them out there one of them is huge i mean huge they they won't even go in that one they want to cram themselves in this wooden <laughs> one that's falling apart because I, know. I don't know what I'm gonna all do. of them go in there so you know they're too heavy so we got to get rid of that one and then they'll have two and we'll see if they use it i've told people generic brands are made on the <laughs> they just stop long enough to change the packaging no yeah. one wants to believe me though i know that to be true but still <laughs> Why are Remco monsters from 1980 so much money? I have the creature not glow in the dark. Yeah, well, I mean, those are kind of tough to find on the card. And they were Remco was smart with them. I are you talking about the large ones or the or the three and three quarter inch? The three and three quarter inch, uh the, the one and eighteenth scale of the mm -hmm. ones I think they made in the eighties. And they were smart to put them in scale with the popular figures at the time. Mm. So you could make them compatible with your G.I. Joes, with your Star Wars figures, with your Fisher Price Adventure people, mm -hmm. your sh smaller Migos or whatever. And a lot of those got opened. Mesco did cool Fantastic, Fantastic Four sets. Four. I haven't seen it. You didn't show that? I showed it, but I mean, I, I don't yeah. have one, so. I'm boxing up some transformers to make more room. I hate having to do it, but no way I'm that's right. You yeah. don't get rid of don't it. Don't get rid of them. You box it up, you set it in a corner, you put something else in its place, and you let that sit and get some sun and some air for about six, eight months, and then you switch it out to something else. And that's what you do. You never ever get rid of anything. No. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if Mighty Ducks is going to be in here. They made Mighty Ducks figures? I remember Mighty Ducks, the uh, movie, but I didn't know the they made figures. Stupid. Didn't they make no. like 10 of them? It was a lot of the Mighty Ducks. No, we go for Micronauts to Planet of the Apes. I don't watch the Oscars, but wanted to see the memoriam. What a disaster and disrespectful. Yeah, well... You can't, I mean, the whole the whole thing is just a dog and pony show. Raccoon says, remember the bronies, the guys? In yeah, the little, the little ponies. ponies. Yeah. Yeah. I remember ponies. that. <laughs> My, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to be talked to. Ranger Rick. Who's Ranger Rick? That name sounds yeah, familiar. Yeah, it sounds familiar. The highlights are the doctor at the doctor's office. Elite action says, "Yeah, yeah, that, that, that would." They always had that. That's the only place I ever saw it. And then I would always, because you know, it came with the little card that you fill out so you could get the subscription. Yeah, I would always take that, never fill it out. So you know, because I knew my parents were going to give me the money to get that book. <laughs> But I would always take it with the <laughs> intention yeah. of sending it in so I could get the magazine at home. 
But yeah. yeah, it's just some things that you're real nostalgic for. And I actually saw an article this week's this week that said um people that are very lonely have certain traits and being nostalgic for stuff is one of those traits. So if you're nostalgic for the older things, yeah, you're a lonely person. And I'm sitting there like, I don't think so. Started watching DuckTales reboot, actually pretty good. Now I'm looking for the figures. The figures are actually kind of like, you see them in Target a lot. Zom says, love the old price guide reference books from Scholastic. They can be found at decent prices still and give full checklists and stories behind it. That's the one David needs because oh, yeah. this one he got, got select figures and they probably got paid to put those in there. Yeah, Killer Tomatoes isn't in here either because somebody's asking. Indiana Jones is in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. A Time is basically a coffee table book. Yeah, it is. A tome. A tome. Oh, yeah. my attack of the killer tomatoes yeah, it's not in, in the here. price guy. It's not David. in here. It's not in there. No. But then they get Angel. Do you have Major Matt Mason? Major Matt Mason. Yes. I don't know if they paid to be in the book because everybody that's in that book gave up some dollars. I guess. Do you remember the small music jukeboxes on the... Yes, we actually saw a picture of that on Facebook this week. Yeah. Did y'all see the video that David found the jukebox on the side of the road <laughs> and brought it home <laughs> and it got records in it? Did you do a video of that McDonald's playset? Yeah, you Which did that, that big one. one? Well, you can't see it from here because that thing is blocking it. I think so. He got two McDonald playsets. You had that. You um. You had that, didn't you? The Mr. Rogers trolley. Yeah, yeah, you saw that one. No, no, Major Matt Mason. No Akira. Yes, I remember Akira. Now that was a good yeah. show. Waymo Super Bowl from the drugstore. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> the jukebox. How is your back? Hey, <laughs> Akira. Anything goes up in price. That anime is a fan favorite. Ghost in the Shell is another one. I saw Akira, Akira in the theater in the nineties. Oh, that came out in the theater. Yeah, it was in the. Well, it was. Um, it wasn't in mainstream theaters. Oh, okay. you had to go to one of those like artsy local theaters. Sweet but Pickles I saw it in the book. theater. We've seen those I remember sweet, sweet pickles. pickles. Yeah. We've seen like a ton of oh, them. We have a couple of them. Okay. But yeah, I know the I know the Set sweet pickles and my absolutely. Niece, ooh, her and, niece uh, destroyed them. Genghis Khan said they remember the uh, highlights, the timber toes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the I timber know. toes. It was Highlight Magazine and a big busted hygienist that made me want to go to dental school. <laughs> Shame on you. And Robert says, remember back in the day with uh there was an actress dressed as Catwoman on Joan Rivers to be on Batman 89. She really wanted the role. Sean Young, I believe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And Timothy said, Yeah, Marvel Legends 25 bucks. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah, the modern price is more than that now, isn't it? It's like 26, 27. I thought it was like 30 bucks. Seriously, some of those new figures, new figures are broken in about yeah, like those um drag not not dragon um dungeons and dragons. Yeah. They came in the Ooh, box. That's, that's too much. Oh yeah, yeah we're way behind. Yeah, we're gonna to... have to try to catch up a little bit there. Okay. Sorry guys, we can't. You know, we're gonna have to skip <laughs> ahead a, a, a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we don't here. wanna ignore anybody. But I didn't know how yeah. far behind we were. Yeah, I just wanted to see, <clears throat> and then um. Genghis says that boys life. I remember the boys life too. You, if you want, if you read boys life, you must remember Captain Ketchup. Oh yeah. Uh, Moon Dust would like to find Remco Universal Monsters mini play case. Mm -hmm. So let me just uh, try to get us. Oh, crash test dummies. Tiger, I think was it. Tiger made the crash test dummies. Mm hmm. And then David says that's wild jukebox on the side of the road. 
Well, not exactly. There's a little bit more to it than uh, yes. than that. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more to it than that. It was more along the lines of Facebook Marketplace, and I'm getting rid of this, and um, you come and take it, and you get there and find out that, yeah, my husband's going to be gone for a few days, so get this out of here because he's never going to do anything with it sort of a scenario. And <laughs> fortunately... We're strong enough to get it into the back of the pickup truck because that sucker is heavy. Yeah. That sucker was like 400 pounds, I swear. Just Jeff had uh, uh, unlocked the memory. Mm -hmm. um, he remembers driving to Vegas at the age of 16 mm -hmm. um, to watch a double feature of Ghost in the Shell and Akira. Yeah. But I saw Akira in that in like a, it was in Brookline on Harvard Avenue and there's like a local a local thing where they would play artsy fartsy bullshit movies mm -hmm. but they had akira and i was like now that looks interesting oh yeah yep and so yeah i saw it in the theater popular science i remember or uh, omni magazine Om omni magazine was another one you'd see yeah now you go in there and it's people magazine <laughs> yeah well <laughs> It, it's always People magazine uh -huh. in there now. Some kind of um, gossip magazine mm -hmm. when you go in there. So I, I like reading the gossip magazines in the store. In the store. Like at the checkout. But now it's no more checkout. And there's hardly no magazines at no. the checkout. So I used to like standing in line at the checkouts so I could read the magazines while I was standing in line. But now is all self checkout uh -huh. and it's no magazines and if you are in the line with the checkout girl is no magazines i'm sure a lot of people bought those x-ray specs but they don't work um how about this one how about the original how about g1 megatron oh no how much is g1 that? megatron according mm. to this 1984 g1 megatron in 2000 cost how much a hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> no, we didn't see Doom Two. No, because we don't go to the movies. We're going to the movies to see two films. We're going to see the Joker Part Two. Uh huh. In the Batman Part Two. Batman Part Two's been delayed. When it comes out yeah. in the theater, we'll go see that. Other no, we that, haven't seen the modern Dunes. I have the I the only Dune I've ever seen is the original film mm -hmm. and the uh, made for TV movie version that was on Sci Fi Channel back in the nineties. <laughs> Jeff TV says they well. saw it in an RT theater as well. It was the oldest. I was the oldest friend of the group, so six of us piled into a Plymouth Acclaim <laughs> and went to Vegas. For <laughs> I remember the Plymouth Acclaim. And God, I think In and Out, man, it was a good day. That was cool. Good go. memory. Yeah, good. Not familiar with the other two. Just know about the Dragon Ball Z creator, Akira King. Okay. the last name. Yeah, somebody named him earlier, I believe. And Reboot Figures. Yeah, Reboot Yeah, figures Reboot's another awesome. one yeah. um, that, oh, I don't know. I don't think Reboot's probably not in here either. I, I'm going to guess it uh, It ain't in here. But yeah, Reboot Figures should still be pretty cheap, right? I never, I never looked that one up, but I remember those figures. I, remember, I had a set of them I got from KB Toy Store. Have you ever been to Johnny Rockets? They had little jukeboxes and coins on the table, but the song would play over the restaurant PA. No, oh, I've, okay. never, I've never been there. I've never heard of Johnny Rockets. Yeah, never heard of it. And J Jeff said, watch Dune. Seriously, it's well done and follows the book well. Okay. okay. I read the books. Oh, you did? Yeah, uh, back in the 80s. And Robert says they know about uh, Lenji Matsumono created Captain Harlock Galaxy Express uh, 999. I remember the original Captain Harlock, and I remember mm -hmm. watching Galaxy Express too. The, it was like a spaceship, but it was a train. It looked like a train. Mm. Robert's going to see Deadpool <laughs> Wolverine. Deadpool Wolverine. <laughs> I saw the first one, and that was enough the the original deadpool oh yeah yeah it's i didn't care for it and i was i haven't seen any anything related to deadpool since i've never seen a deadpool movie or read about him in comics yeah. or read any comics where he was in it you know where like he he was introduced into that yeah. so you know i don't know anything about deadpool 
the sci-fi version did too, but this is that, but with the budget and better writing. Okay. 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 You're talking about Dune still. All I've ever heard anything about as far as that movie is concerned is the popcorn bucket. What? They have a unique popcorn bucket. Uh-huh. Um, At the Dune movies? Yeah, the Dune movies. And it's supposed to look like the sandworm. So it's supposed to look like the mouth of the sandworm mm -hmm. over the top of the po popcorn bucket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they didn't think the design through very well. Mm. It looks like a sex toy. Mm -mm. And, uh, <laughs> and so they're like, are you serious? This is uh, this is your design. Oh, well, Secret Squirrel. I remember Secret Squirrel. I remember it, but Classic I don't Hanna think Barbera. about... I don't think I ever saw it. Mm -hmm. But I do remember it. I remember the Secret Squirrel. Any comic book... We haven't bought comic books in a while. No, the last comic books you got were the ones I gave you at the live unboxing. Yeah, last week. Which was that Canadian PSA series about yeah. drugs with the McFarlane cover. But when we go to the show, mm -hmm. the comic book show next time, I'm going to really look into getting some, um, getting some crime comics. I'm into crime comics. Yeah. I have some. Um, but I want to get more into it. You know, I collect the romance, and, and I already got a short box. Preferably, she's around. talking golden age. Yeah, yeah, golden age crime comics mm -hmm. is is what I'm gonna be focusing on for the next couple runs. I'm gonna be focusing on that. Um, graphic man. Yeah, hey, graphic man, how are you? Glad that you were able to join us today. I need to watch X Men ninety seven. The actual X Men ninety seven or the uh, the new one? Mm -hmm. Um, but no, we haven't bought too much of anything. Toys, comics. Yeah. Um, bought some records. You know, every time we find something at Goodwill or something. Yeah. But haven't really been buying much of anything lately. To tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. I have Deadpool books where yeah. he fights Dracula and his minions pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I've seen some stuff because we watch, you know, the various channels and you'll see things and it'll spark your little interest. But I haven't bought anything. MS Fight Simulator has a Doom 2 tie-in. And then Jeff there. Mm -hmm, is what he's saying. The modern That's update That's part brings... two of his, because he had a thing there, see? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Let me see what it says again. So, my dad did 20 in the Navy. Uh -huh. When he'd come, he'd do the following in order. My mom watched Dune and drink beer and play Atari. I used to watch Dune with him every first night. He was off leave. Okay. The modern update bring back that magic. Okay, okay that makes sense. All now. right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kay said the world is getting less colorful from cars, restaurants, buildings. Yeah. Makes it easy to market and generalize silver, gray, black, <laughs> and white. Yeah. <laughs> and and it, it is it's less. It's a shame. It, there, there is a lot less design, a lot less thought that goes into everything. No, you know, and it's something we talked about before because mm -hmm. you remember when you were growing up, every store, restaurant had a design. You could look at the building with no sign and you knew that was McDonald's. You knew that was KFC. International you, House of Pancakes. You, yeah, yeah. You knew it was IHOP. You knew it was Taco Bell. Now, every building looks alike. Maybe not Zaxby's. I think Zaxby's still got a got kind of a look, uh -huh. a shape to it. I don't but, know. But nearly every building, it looked like a, a old, because some of them, a couple of buildings around here, restaurants, they took an old car garage and turned it into the restaurant. So like you had a McDonald's and you could tell where they had the glass doors that slid up. But they all kind of look alike. They have no feeling to it. Nothing that makes them stand out. There's no aesthetics to it. No. Yeah, but, it's yeah. just... Inside the McDonald's, I've compared McDonald's to being like a subway stop. Yeah. Because it, it looks like you're sitting in the subway waiting for the train to come by. 
like it's just <laughs> not inviting at all it's miserable and you see it in a lot of things too how things are no longer decorative mm -hmm. you know looking at uh if you go into any antique mall and you look at the what was once common glassware furniture yeah. anything and so much effort was put into making it, making it aesthetically pleasing and now everything is very generic. Yeah. And I like watching home decorating shows and everyone is all white. We want this all white. We want to take away all of this. And I mean, sometimes, you know, the houses are kind of dark and, you know, you brighten it up. But God, Lee, and may, at least make it look different. It's like every design, no matter what the design, who the designer is. It looks the same, and I know you got trends and yeah. all of this, but like, golly, man, do something to give it some type of feeling. Make it look the houses don't look realistic. Like you don't want to live there. Like you want to go maybe visit, but if you got all kind of kids and dogs and cats, mm -hmm. you really want them running around some of these houses that they show after they finish decorating it. It doesn't look like it's practical. Yeah. For regular everyday people to live in. Did you guys ever remember a martial arts show that came on after Fox Kids Saturday morning cartoons was over called WMAC Masters? It was scripted, <laughs> but fun to no, I don't think I ever Is heard that of that. Is that the one where Bruce Lee's daughter was the host? I'm I'm, I'm I think I know what you're talking about. Robert says, uh, surprise, don't know McGilla Gorilla or Ricochet Rabbit. Love the McGilla Gorilla theme song. It was a really catchy theme song. No, I don't know that. And then Zom says, the new X-Men 97 is supposed to continue from the old tune. I have no idea. I haven't seen it. And Reston says, do you have the old school pizza in? We only had a Shakey's and Pizza Hut. I don't remember Pizza Inn or Shakey's. Yeah, we had a Pizza Inn. Mm -hmm. It from, was I'm only from the one. East Coast, though. It was only one. Um, isn't that the one that guy, he was running for president. He was like the president of, I think that was it. But know. yeah, it was a pizza inn. Okay. We It was only like one. They weren't like, a, you know, big like pizza hut or nothing. But and, you mentioned price guides. Uh -huh. I used to, to be into Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I had a few. Beckett guides. You know what's fun about the Beckett guides too, but, or any of those card guides? But before 1988, they're all like that thick. Now they're like this <laughs> because the everything is so overproduced now. Then Jeff says, when you see the uh, Ornithopper the first time, David, exactly how I see it in the book. Okay. Okay. Robert says, I always wanted my kitchen to look like Johnny Rockets. Uh, the place looks like a 50s diner, checker floorboards. I think Arnold's from Happy Days. I miss Johnny Rockets. Mm. And then Raccoon says McDonald's looks like a prison now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's not a place where you want to just spend some time. Yeah. You know, you, go, you used to go to the restaurant and you could just sit around and hang out. Now it's like, I don't even want to sit down and eat my food. And, it, and they make you feel like they don't want you in there. <laughs> It's like you want your food to for here to go, and yeah. then you say, "I want it here." They still put it in the bag. Yeah, used to be they take a hit, and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Basically, yeah. And you got to go and ask for ketchup. They don't. Got They're that. afraid that you're going to try to get a refill. And, uh, and well, I get profits. all of the refills. I yeah. can. And they had stopped refills for a minute during the the virus. virus yeah, yeah. You couldn't get a refill, and then they had the station all blocked off. And if you did want a refill, you had to ask for it. And then somebody came out and took off all of this stuff, and they gave you a whole new cup and everything. <laughs> they wouldn't even let you drink out of the same cup. It's like, come on, just let me get a refill. Now I'm they don't do? even care. My cup's not touching anything. <laughs> If I, if you were gonna catch cooties from me, you'd have it already. <laughs> Classic cars are yeah. awesome. <laughs> These newer ones all look the same. The older cars are built better too. The cars are built better too. You know what I find? I don't know what I I just find it weird. They got the electric cars, and you know you got to plug it up to mm -hmm. recharge it. Yeah. But now they got their electric cars, and on a commercial. They ain't plugging it up, and you watching the big the movie on the oh, big they're screen. Using, they're plugging things into yeah. the car to generate power for other things. 
And I'm like, you can barely keep the car running. Yeah. How and, are you going to? And then on one of the commercials, the power goes out in the neighborhood. Oh, just plug it into your car and the whole house lights up. And you're like, there's no way. Come on. You can't even go 200 miles on this car. But I'm going to plug up my whole house. You got to be kidding me. What <laughs> a mess is that? Yeah. I don't understand that. They, they, and then you got to charge it for like 30 minutes. So now you're at Target sitting in the parking lot for 30 minutes because yeah. nobody leaves the car plugged up. They sit in the car and wait. But if I get gas, I just put the gas in there and lift that little nozzle. I get back in the truck. I wait about two, three minutes. Click. And then I'm yeah. on my way. Oh yeah, we said that. Oh, divorced parents just <laughs> yeah. Robert says they have Fud Ruckers, Carl Jr.'s Hardy's Hardy's. Fud Ruckers uh changed a lot because yeah. it used to be you build your own sandwich, it just gave you the meat and the bun. Yeah. Now um I think they changed it up a lot. They kind of make that sandwich for you. You don't do it yourself no more. I've never been there. I uh, ain't been way right there before then. Farmer? No. You know I don't there? think I've ever been there. Uh Zom says they can't eat at Mickey D's get they get tummy aches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get yeah, you it's get not good. bubble. It never guts. was really that good quality food. Screw your feelings, even though I don't eat there, Mickey D's looks gloomy, unlike in the past. Even Taco <laughs> Bell looks boring. Yeah. And no Robert, mascots. Yep. On, on cereal or gum, cookie, syrup, everything is plain. No theme song. Everything blah. Yeah. It's no more um, jingles for your your commercials. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember Glow, gorgeous ladies of wrestling. <clears throat> that that wasn't Stupid. a cartoon. That was a live after, action after Saturday morning cartoon. Oh, where I lived, it came on Friday or Saturday night, like eleven, like it was a. You not supposed oh. to watch this. It came on during that time. Yeah. No. Oh wow, we backed up he, again. Yeah, he's confirming <laughs> that it was. Um, oh, we backed way up again. Yeah, I, told I you know. Oh, okay, that, that it was. Nice. He's confirming that it was uh, Bruce Lee's daughter there. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. And then Hank says uh, White Castle is gross. You know, people get they they host weddings. All of those places, McDonald's used to host birthday parties, and kids yeah. loved it. Now I don't think they do that anymore. You have your birthday party at home in your own yard. Yeah, Munin says if you heard of the car is spontaneously combusting. Yep. Yeah, that that does happen, and the, they can't put the fire out. It, they can't. You need a uh, a halon um, unit to put out a fire like that, and most fire departments don't have them. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, Stone Sour, a new store called J Builder and Sons open here. You're lying. David used to work at J Builder. I worked and at J Sons. Builder and Sons in the early in the early nineties in Boston. And they, of solar panels on and, the roof. I and told they were bank they went bankrupt and closed down. Oh, they must have got themselves back together. I don't know. Why not put solar It'll panels? Work. We talked about it's that not, before. It can't generate enough power. You you barely be able to run the lights with a solar panel on the roof of the car. Did you have vintage muscle men when you were a kid in the stores? And if did you collect them? They did have them in the stores. I did not collect those. Mm. Tons of birthday parties at Mickey D's yeah. and also roller rink. And they made a big production out of it. They bring out the throne. Yeah. They had the throne. And you'd get a necklace with a key on it, I think. Cause I that did, was at Burger King with, with the Burger key. Burger King with the key. I did a party for uh, one of my kids once, and I forget. I thought it was McDonald's. They had the special cake. Yeah. McDonald's cakes. And you got a happy freezer. meal. Yeah. Well, everybody got a happy meal. But, yeah, but I mean, know. that was the meal for the birthday. Yeah, You yeah. got the cake and you a happy meal. got the traditional food, sure. Yeah, the cake and the and happy meal. They, um, you know, they might even have someone done up as wrong Ronald to come McDonald, out. it yeah. was a big deal for them yeah but now they don't do nothing it's nothing and i don't know why kids well they like eating that nasty junk food but well uh, young people nowadays are a lot of them are accustomed to that they're accustomed to eating uh junk food and so when you give them something good they don't want it you know broccoli broccoli's good i like but broccoli. you give it to a kid who's never had it and he's like 14 he ain't gonna eat it you know 
Oh, Mac and me highlight the birthday party thing, but on a grander, crazy scale. We saw Mac know. and me. We saw that. That's that little uh, wannabe E.T. The little alien came with the family, and then they made them <sighs> citizens, and they got married and all kind of stuff. It was yeah, a family. Yeah, that sounds familiar. And they were in McDonald's, and he was dancing around on the table and stuff, and the boy oh was in God. the wheelchair. We saw it on Mystery Science, didn't we? I forget. A riff track. One of them had that. It was stupid. <laughs> and zombie, zombie reminds us they had the character chairs. Yeah, they had the stools that looked like the little cheeseburgers. And yeah. They they went all out to uh, to ride that theme, and they got away got a, rid of all of that when they were trying to compete with the popularity of Starbucks, and they became Mick Cafe, and put the copper roofs on, yeah. which they've gotten rid of that now too. But they, yeah, they they threw away all those themes a long time ago. But that's when things were just like simple. People liked it. People enjoyed it, and they just mm -hmm. went. And you can kind of just hang out. You took your kids there. They played on the playground, and other kids, and all of that. And you can sit and watch them, you know. But now. They don't. They don't even have the playground anymore. Some of them have the playground. Well, they've got that's a play. Some. some of them have a play space. Yes, and that's what it's the called. The playground is gone. Yeah, because it's yeah. inside, and yeah. it's those little balls you jump into, and yeah, and it's full of like, uh, you know, it's like a sarlacc pit. But <laughs> where would you get that Ghostbuster Toxic Crusader slime canister? I don't know. But they uh, if you found an original one, it'd be dried out by now. Oh yeah, you think so? Yeah, it would be dried out by now. I wonder if uh Toxic Toxie is in here, actually. Robert the, is fifty five years old. Oh my. Is he? He told everybody now. Action figure canisters is what I mean. That's not I remember those canisters. Yeah. I'm trying to see. I know Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is in here. But yeah, that slime thing. I'm looking for. Um, I wanted to see if Toxic Avengers is in here. Because that is expensive. Toxic Crusaders. That is an expensive line, so I'm will I'm I'm willing to get Thundercats. the the um um Tox Super Seven. Toxie's one. not in here. Ninja Turtles is in here. If anybody wants to know the price of original Ninja or back in 2000, what Ninja Turtles were going for. A lot of parents cried foul also. They believe that cartoon and other commercials were selling to children. They were. All, all yeah. um, commercials sell to people. Even TV shows sometimes sell. Yeah, that's, that's the purpose. Uh, that's how they became, um, that's how cereal breakfast cereals became so popular because mm -hmm. they were advertising it to kids on Saturday mornings and they knew that they would uh that those kids would gravitate towards those cereals. Yeah. It was a brilliant strategy. They don't have to buy it. No. You can buy but, the knockoff. Yeah, buy the knockoff. The kid doesn't know the difference. The great value brand. <laughs> you get buy, get your kid the sadness brand. No, what you do is you buy the one who buy it one time, save the box. Yeah. And then you just put the store brand in the new box. I mean, in the uh -huh. old box, so you think you're getting it. <coughs> buy the you um, okie doke the kid. You get them like this right here. This is the okie doke right here. Buy the Ninja Turtle ooze, the new one. Yeah. Yeah, because they still make that ooze. Oh, when, yeah. See? When grandma gets you this, and you're like, that's not G.I. Joe. Now be nice that's to your grandma. Star Trek, yeah. She doesn't know. Oh, it's a knockoff yeah. of G.I. Joe. But that looked like the Stormtrooper a little bit. Well, it's not. This See, you can get a lot out core. of that. You could get a lot out of this, but it ain't G.I. Joe. I don't see Sergeant Slaughter. I don't see Cobra Commander. <laughs> what the hell is this, Grandma? Seriously? Seriously. And it's like, you better thank your grandmother. Because she she doesn't know. She tried. She tried. She tried to save a few bucks is what she did. Because this this um, seven-pack of figures, the original price was nine ninety eight. See? All right. You get seven and so she figures. was like, oh, this looks just like the other stuff that G.I. Joe. He doesn't need this. Look at this. This one figure is two ninety nine. And I can get all these for nine ninety eight. So yeah, uh, he doesn't know the difference. That's Jim, right. Jimmy knows the damn difference, okay? Grandma, thanks for nothing. 
I just, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just messing You're around. Being very strange. I didn't right know. Now. I didn't know my grandmother. I didn't. I didn't know grandmother. David, we ain't going down your family line of abuse. <laughs> Was Slinky a million dollar figure? I mean, a million dollar idea? idea, probably. I think it made they, millions. They still make them. Yeah. Yeah. And it don't do nothing. Hey, I'm um, chance. You know what it does? But. It gets tangled up into a mess. It's like trying to untangle a garden hose. Only a garden hose you can eventually straighten out. If you bend anything on that slinky, it's done. Hardy's is an Eastern uh, restaurant. Carl's Jr.'s that Char Carl's Jr. bought. Okay. We got Hardy's around here. You've been to Hardy's. I don't Broccoli know the last time I was good. at a Hardee's. Yes. When have I ever eaten at Hardee's? We steam our broccoli with butter and um, garlic. Uh huh. I don't know what David talking about because sometimes he, you know, he just get real strange on the weekends. Things just don't go right for him. First of all, prayers. Thank you. <laughs> we'll take all the prayers we can get. <laughs> Where, where are y'all in Dallas? Oh, okay. we're at, we're at uh, Sue yeah. Ellen is drinking again. Sue Ellen caught JR in bed with Holly. So <laughs> she's back drinking. <laughs> and her and Mickey got in the car accident. Yeah. So Mickey's in the hospital. In a they, coma. In a coma. Of they course. think he's paralyzed. Mm -hmm. And that's where where we left it. We're no longer watching Falcon Crest because now you have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So we can't watch Falcon Crest anymore. But Dynasty. Dynasty oh. is on. So we're going to start no. that up and prayerfully we'll be able to watch the whole thing. Not Dynasty. And uh, I can't see. He said we used to go to McDonald's for ice cream. You know, you do. You know, you can still get away with that now if you have one. Is Quick Trip? Get the cone at Quick Trip. Nostalgic, unfortunately, had his first print Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stolen by a former friend. Oh God! Uh, not you, not recently. I hope. I know that's right. Oh my goodness! You and them friends don't do well. Yeah, David, you should be able to find at retail Walmart, Target. For you guys, oh, he's talking about that ooze. Oh, okay. Still talking about the ooze. Mm, those turtle pies hit different. <laughs> and Stone Sour, he says, was he the only one to eat bag cereal instead of box cereal as a kid? Yeah, because your mama then bought you the, <clears throat> the one on the bottom shelf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that <laughs> bottom shelf. <laughs> These are just like alphabets, Jimmy. It's okay. <laughs> It's, just, <laughs> it's it's kind of Lucky Charms. It's got little mushrooms in it, see? Or not mushrooms, marshmallows. I don't know where I got mushrooms from. Star Force looks, gotta look that up. Those aren't bad figures. I'm just, and there's a niche for those, too. There's people that really would look for that. See? Yeah. Gilgamesh, <clears throat> my grandma would buy me pants. Yep. So he got those tight, high water um, church pants that she think you should wear to school every day. Flood pants. Yeah. <laughs> Many collect those, those offshoot. Off yeah. Yeah, they're they popular. Do. They, they are, are they very do. popular. They are popular. Yeah. <laughs> you clicked that. You're uh you you're behind. You you were going backwards. Oh, did I? Yeah, you're going backwards. Oh my. Okay. And uh nostalgia. Lainey. Hey guys. Hey. You're spot on about McDonald's as a kid of the 90s. I used to, <laughs> it used to be an event. event. We'd be the, excited to go. Yeah. Yeah, the, the toys, everything about it. Mm -hmm. And uh nostalgic uh nostalgic likes the beard. Growing up, I was lucky my grandma made it her mission to know what I like, so I okay. never ended up with weird gifts. Okay. I have no idea how she knew about Gundam. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I no, never told. Him. I never had any of that kind of luck growing up. All I got was radios, toys, and clothes. I mean, radios, bicycles, uh -huh. and clothes. Ah. Uh, I call that show Dynasty. Yep. Oh no, we're gonna watch it. Oh no, man. Yeah, Bobby, the guy, Bobby, the guy that plays Bobby, Patrick Duffy. 
-hmm. was the man from Atlantis, mm -hmm. and he was Bobby on Dallas. That's right. Mm. And he got swimming tips from his sister, who was an Olympic swimmer, swimmer I believe. Yeah, he, I think he said he used to <laughs> swim with her yes. to for her um, training. Yes. That's how he got the part from Man from Atlantis, because he could hold his breath a long time underwater. I forget what the inventor was trying to do, but but then he got the idea when the spring fell off a shelf. Talking about the slinky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Slinky, Mr. Potato Head, that's another classic. The original Mr. <laughs> Potato Head. Have mushrooms. Oh, yeah, man. you could have some mushrooms in your cereal. Or you could do it like what happened in Brady Bunch Part 2, the, uh -huh. the, the film adaptation. The, the original Brady Bunch movie is actually hilarious because it's based on a stage play production mm -hmm. making fun of the original show. Is the tick in that price guide book? The tick? I don't know. I can't see love bag cereal. He loved that bottom shelf cereal. Hey. I can't eat that. David tried that mess bringing that <laughs> stuff home. Talking oh, about this is the same as Frosted Flakes. Sure it is. Hmm. It's not Tony the Tiger on that bag. Sure, you, I you can't can, eat it. It's, it's, it's similar. Similar is not the same. Merry Christmas, Billy. Cool. Is it Nintendo, PlayStation, G.I. Joe? Open no. big Christmas box. A pair of socks. A pair of socks. <laughs> That's right. Socks are a terrible gift. Socks are sadness. Hey, those corpse figures were good toys, especially since the corpse kept going. No tick. After the G.I. Joes were gone. Yep. No tick. Thundercats, Superpowers, Secret Wars. Um, Look up with that. You got Strawberry Shortcake Strawberry in there. Shortcake is in here. How much is that gazebo? The Strawberry Shortcake gazebo. The strawberry Shortcake gazebo. Let me see if it's in here. Strawberry Shortcake Series 1, Series 2. <laughs> Zom says some of the new cereals are made in Mexico and they uh -huh. taste funky. No strawberry gazebo? I'm looking. Oh. What the hell is this? I don't know. What does it say? Uh-oh. Are you into video games? I'm not, but David is. And he has a bunch of video yeah, games. Yeah, I do have vintage video games. They have the the figures of the dolls rather listed but none of the uh accessories no, are in here kind of weird i got ninja turtles no, i got I star wars mm -mm. star wars are in you there. into video games sure david play he i got, got the vintage I got, stuff. Uh, I got the atari 2600 i got the nintendo nes i got sega genesis i got the uh gamecube i have the 64 i have the snes I have PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360. And the I two... thought you had some kind of thing that plays all the games. No, there's mm -hmm. no such thing. And then the um the ones the ones that I like the best actually are the Nintendo NES and the Sega. Give me Malto Meal. Malto Meal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Malto mm. Meal. Nobody wants that. Excellent. Yuck. Yeah, Munin says, David. Do you ever play Persona? I don't think so. I don't think so. And David said, I like too much obscure stuff. Hey, if it makes you happy, Robert says, Have any of your old DVD movies gotten disc rot? I was watching video on that. No. What's I haven't disc had a, rot? I haven't had a problem with that where the disc becomes corrupt and won't play. That mm. can happen. You know what, what causes that? Having it in a storage. That or, oh, wow. or having it stored somewhere mm -hmm. where there's no climate control, oh. so that con just like anything else in a storage, hot, cold, hot, yeah. cold, hot, cold, yeah. it messes it up because it's a all it is is a piece of foil on some plastic. Yeah. And nostalgic says Paunch is seventy five. Eric, Eric Estrada, Estrada, that's right from, from, from Chips, from, best known from Chips. You guys remember? Oh, Zubily Zoo. I love yeah. Zubily. Zoo. Oh my god. Oh, Stone Sour. But then you know, we tried to watch it when oh, we were I hope working. It is. 
when we were working at the um day center and that thing <laughs> I was like, I used to watch this as a kid. It seemed like it was real kind of sexually charged. Like the the um all the animals and stuff and the way they was acting and everything. I'm like, I don't think this is for kids. But I remember watching it as a kid and I loved it. And I've tried finding it on DVD, but you can't find it. I ne they never put it on DVD. No dino riders. I got Dungeons and Dragons. Mom cereals are post in disguise, no longer being made for the Canadian market. Oh, oh wow. Okay. And Shaky says, what would a Ninja Turtle hotspot go for? Okay. I know Ninja Turtles in here. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have PlayStation hotspot. 2 and 3 and original Xbox and a Dreamcast. Okay. I got, uh, I've got, um, Oh, what did they call that? The the original handheld unit mm. for Nintendo. Oh, the called? um, I can't think. I stole <laughs> the Nintendo um oh, Game Boy. Game Boy, yes, thank you. I have the Game Boy and have some games. And for the NES, I have um, Panic Restaurant. You got Tetris. Yes. But I have Panic Restaurant. Somebody knows what that is. I don't know what that is. Double-sided DVDs are notorious for rotting. Who am I looking for? Uh, uh, um, oh, you're looking for a hot Ninja spot, Turtle. Right? Yeah, hot, hot spot, spot. right? Okay. I just want to make sure I can Google find peanut them. butter. What? What is that? What does that mean? It, it's a brand. It was a brand of peanut butter. Oh, I know okay. what he's talking about. I have a Richron... Five. It plays NES, Game Boy, Famicom. See, I told you it was one system and it played all the games. Really? I haven't seen it, so it doesn't exist. It exists. I got it. Hotspot. Here we go. Mint on the card. Fifty dollars. Back in two thousand. Yeah, fifty bucks. I love the Magic Garden and also New, New Zoo, Zoo Review. Review. We're coming right at you. That's right. You know what you do? You take this guy to the toy show and you say, well, my good sir, according to my guide, yeah. Hotspot should only be $50. Uh, how far I, you get I will that. generously offer you 45 and forget your impotence. <laughs> Can't believe I know that show. Still remember the hippo and owl. New Zoo Review. I have that, I have that on disc. That was a good show. Yeah. I, I want to see... I'm on Lady. Yay! Hey! Somebody's watching my channel. Because we're brought, we're brought podcasting, broadcasting, whatever the hell we're doing. Oh, and by the way, you can find Nostalgic Pod uh, Pod Blast. Blast. Pod <clears throat> Blast on uh, Fistful of Radio Podcast. And he also has a YouTube channel yes. where he'll talk about like different topics and different mm -hmm. people in the in the past community. You know, from the 70s and 80s, movies, music, TV shows, characters, yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff like that. So, Game Boy. Yeah, I had got one. I went to visit some family one summer, and the kids had a Game Boy, and uh -huh. I played it so much. I didn't realize, and I took it. And I was like, oh, shoot, I still got the. Game Boy and all it and and I used to play Tetris because they had a Tetris game. Yeah, and I used to play that and I and I took it with the Tetris game. Nintendo Sega, NES Dreamcast. Tetris, I used to play the hell out of that was yeah. A, and again, I always default. I wore that back. game out. I I love you know and like I said, I have an Xbox 360. I don't mm -hmm. even care. I, if I want feel like I want to play, mm -hmm. it's either Sega Genesis or it's Nintendo NES. That those two for some reason they always uh Star Force. Star Force? That's the show we're watching now, isn't it? That had figures. Star Force. That's what he said. Um, David, get out pitch to film you doing that with the guy. Oh yeah. Doing what? That's what I should do. Oh, that bit that I just did, comic book nerd guy from uh Simpsons. A bit of that sort of arrogant. It's just I'm the, I would have to tell you and explain to you in extreme detail how much this should cost my good sir, since obviously you are not very well educated in the cost of modern action figures or vintage ones for that matter. And I do happen to have a guide. And I will tell you what you should be selling it for. 
and then maybe we will make a deal if I am still interested. <laughs> We're gonna go to the show. And he's gonna take that little silly book. And he's gonna do that. Nobody's gonna put up with that. No, they're gonna kick <laughs> him out. No, they won't. And I'm gonna be like, I don't know that dude. I don't think Star Force is in here. Are you Did talking you about? No, I know it's not in. It's not gonna be in here. Dale loves our channel. Oh, thank you, Dale. We appreciate that. Sadly, so many game franchises. Uh -huh. have, man, we were watching the one about what's that new the the new one that EA. EA Sports had, uh, what's it called? It's some I little don't sweet, baby, sweet baby, sweet baby, sugar baby, or yeah, some something kind of like garbage, that. and, and so all the things pissed. that they're doing, yeah. and how blatantly oh, just awful they are. And we were watching the CEO of that company yeah. and the things that she was saying, and it's like, lady, are you serious? I remember Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is another good one. The, uh, one of my favorites from the NES was the Low G Man. The Inferno Machine. Yeah. Low G Man. Um, elevator Action. Mario Brothers, of course. And from Sega Genesis, Golden Axe. Two. Oh, he talking about those figures you just showed a little bit ago. That's not in that. The, the one, the seven. Oh, one oh, the oh. Yeah, okay. The, um, yeah. the, the Lamar figures. Yeah. Or are, are they in yeah. that book? <clears throat> no, they're not. They're in not there. in they're that not book. Be in here, no. This is all name brand stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> don't encourage him, Hank. That was not a good impression because he does that mess all the time. It's like, so what was it? Um, Golden Axe Two. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you. And oh, yeah, um, what's back. the other one? Golden Axe Two. And uh, Streets of Rage 2, which also Sweet Baby Ink, that's it. Thank you. Which uh yes, yeah, so they ruin everything they touch. Yeah, <laughs> and they just keep going. It's like a it's like a disease. And gold uh Streets of Rage 2 had like a fantastic early uh, version electronica soundtrack. Oh, comic book guy on the Simpsons got married. I don't remember uh, if he got married because I stopped watching it a long time ago. I do remember the affair that he had with Principal Skinner's mother, though. <laughs> that was funny. And they were in the um, the somebody called the police on him, and the the cops break in while they're busy. And uh, <laughs> the uh, and the chief is like, "Oh, you're under. Oh my. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna back off. Just stop whatever it is that you're doing." <laughs> <laughs> you know what was funny What's when that? Dale and um Khan's mom oh, <laughs> on, got uh, together on, on uh, Hank Hill, King, King of, of the Hill. Hill, King of the Hill. That's one of the funniest episodes. And Khan, uh, they all knew that they were having an affair, and Khan didn't. And Khan was mad. My, I want to talk to you. My mother come home too late every night. You riding her too long, too hard. And everybody's laughing. Why you all laugh, my mother? <laughs> that, was, that was one of their best episodes. Oh, is Toxic Crusader Toxic in there? Crusaders, the Toxic, junkyard. Toxic Crusaders is not in here because we already tried to look yeah, it up. Yeah, we did try to look that up. Unfortunately, right. no. <laughs> <laughs> that one was funny but i haven't seen a lot of the um simpsons I, i've seen some episodes i think yeah. all i've seen i've seen less than 20 episodes mm -hmm. i didn't watch it that much that's one show um I, my parents just wasn't it wasn't into and i liked it and i watched it every so often and they were huge they were never they were a cultural phenomenon, yeah. especially in the early 90s. They were massive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would like to go back and um and watch the older stuff. Skeleton, skeleton Warriors. Warriors. I like the Skeleton Warriors. You and have it, some of those. Have, you got them from Justice I have Curry. Three, yeah, Justice Curry. I bought three from him. And there's still um there's still an affordable line. And that's a line I, pro I, I would like to get back to. There's a few... Uh, video games that never had a sequel, but a great story and gameplay. Yeah. Don't get rid of those games or systems, or you'll regret it. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't ever get rid of anything. <laughs> I like to get a new book on old vintage GI Joes from the seventies. Oh, okay. But they probably got the um character guide or the toy guide because I got a couple of toy guide. Well, and a couple Silver of toy guides. I got Hawks one toy guide. Oh my god! What the Silverhawks price is in here? Silverhawks is in here. Um, I can't see regret selling his old consoles. I, but I didn't have the space to display it. But it doesn't matter. You don't need to display. Yeah. Just have. Put it in the book in the <laughs> box. I'm serious. Y'all laugh when I say this. Put it in a box. A tote. Uh, you set it in the corner. You push it up under the bed. You put it in a closet. Skeleton Warriors Somewhere. is not in the book. Oh, no. Listen to this, though, real quick. Silverhawks, just because I pulled it up. Mm -hmm. According to this, you shouldn't pay more than $20 for one mint on the card. Silverhawks? Those are expensive. <laughs> they are very expensive. Wow. Did they ever make Killer Instinct figures? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Where's uh, and that's nostalgic? When Bobby Hill did racist stand-up comedy, I about died laughing. I don't remember that episode. We got the either. um, we got the. I don't know if it's complete, but we got like seasons one through mm -hmm. thirteen. I think we got it on a list of of ones to watch. We haven't gotten yeah. to it yet, but that's a good show, Simpsons, and I want to see the, the Simpsons. Um, yeah. Robert said, "Comic book guy got married to an, to an Asian, Asian cosplayer. cosplayer. That's got to be modern. That's got to be very <laughs> modern." <then. laughs> I had NES Genesis. Genesis, PlayStation 2, DS, and PSP Slim. Okay. I bought one game console that was the very first um, PlayStation. I had that, and that's all I've ever had. Okay. And I got that when I was in Colorado, and I went to Korea. And in Korea, they if you gave them your, you know, you go downtown or whatever, you give them your 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 game system they would fix it so you can play bootleg games <laughs> so they had fixed mine you take it back down in there. the days of solid state yeah yeah you you i gave them mine um you get them 20 20 30 dollars or something uh -huh. and then they did whatever they did and then you could play bootleg games yeah i don't know whatever happened to my playstation but i got bootleg games and it played like like nothing you know sure he didn't know what he was saying. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that episode. My two favorite King of the Hill was Hank giving. Co oh yeah, I remember that one. <clears throat> I remember or that. It was crack. It was, it was crack, one I of believe. them. Yeah, Grimsel. Grim skull. Skull is fantastic. From uh, from, um, from uh, Skeleton Warriors. King of the Hill was amazing, and I can't wait for the new episodes coming sometime really? this year. Or first of next year, and yes, David Mike Judge is doing the new. I hope it's not um, too modern. Yeah, you know what I mean. Psalms, I hope they keep it the way it was. Psalm said, "Skeleton Warriors and Inhumanoids tunes were very creepy at times." So the Inhumanoids is only five episodes. We saw it, and they rushed it too much. It, it was an interesting concept, mm -hmm. but they cranked it out too too quickly, too much. Oh, but I I remember that episode too, I don't know if where I he uh, that. he he was getting into a lot of trouble in, in in school, and he wanted to defend himself. And the only class that was available was oh. uh, <laughs> the yeah, self defense the class. The self defense class <laughs> for women. <laughs> Oily jigglers again. I think I remember that. Oh yeah, oily jigglers. I remember those. Mighty Max um, is Mighty Max in that book. Mighty Max. Yes. Let me see. If I could Mighty go, Max is a cool a only cool go tool back. Online. I know. I wish I could go back because yeah. um when I was younger, I didn't know uh, well, I didn't collect toys, I didn't collect comic books. Um, I have a lot of the original CDs that I had um when I was growing up because I bought CDs and I still have the original ones. But if I knew better, I would have bought toys um bought comic books you know way back when yeah and um like in the 90s and in the 2000s when they were cheaper 
is police academy figures in that book mighty max is in here i'm mean, okay. not mighty max i'm sorry uh mask is in here the remco mcdonald's figures are in here yeah that's the set you got yeah micronauts what about police academy um See those come, these people didn't pay to get in this book. This is no. one of those side yeah. deal books. You pay us some money and we'll put your figures no, in the book. No, Police Academy is not in here. My console collection is in the jeweler's case, real heavy and all glass. Wow, you got a nice console collection then. PlayStation 1 was awesome. It gave us Final Fantasy 7 and so many other great games. Yeah. My my parents for Christmas one year bought me the original um, Nintendo, so I had you know it came with Mario Brothers. Yeah. I had the World Track Meet with the thing and Duck Hunt, and then I bought a couple of games, but I never got a lot of games for that. Yeah. At one time, I had the Atari, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Xbox. Mm -hmm. Okay, and got rid of all oh, of it. No. Because you don't know no better. Skeleton Warriors live action movie. Well, the CGI, Ooh. they could now. Yeah. If, if they could do it without screwing it up. Oily Jigglers, it's just like, you know, the um, the um, rubbery, just like action figures. <clears throat> they're not really action figures, I guess. But there's not, it's like a bendy with no wire in it. And it's all like rubbery and weird. If they do in humanoids again, would you get them? No. Oh, I'm still hey, I still need two for my original series. Elite Action says we call our neighbor Hank Hill. He mows his lawn on the rider five times a week. God dog. <laughs> That's too much. Five times a week. And Stone Sour said they heard Reebok pump sneakers are coming back. I remember those. They had the thing in the front and you can pump them up to yeah. make them tighter. Yeah. That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, they're trying to make it because they came back out with the Air Force Ones. Nike yeah. had the Air Force Ones and the Jordans never went away. They came back with Adidas Shell Toes. Yeah. And the um, Reebok Classics. Yeah. Reebok Classics were nice. So why not the pump? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Iron Maiden looks like the Skeleton Warriors. Yeah, I could see that. And uh, Dale says he has groovy ghoulies. Yeah, uh, Chemtoy made those. Mm -hmm. Chemtoy, the little figurines, right? And the oily jigglers smell great. They smell. <laughs> they smell, had a they smell. smell. They smell like rubber. <laughs> it's got this really strong rubber smell. Oh, yeah. Yep. Crazy smell. And uh, let me see the McDonald's figure. Remco McDonald's, since I got it open. What? All those prices haven't changed much. They got them priced all different. Big Mac seventy five, Captain Crook forty, Grimace eighty five. How much is the playset? Playset is two hundred and forty mitten sealed box. Wow, it's more than that now. But the the, the figures that's not too far from what you might get for the mint on the card now. But that playset, finding it mitten a sealed box, mm -hmm. you, um, you'll break the bank on a sealed box. The only game I was addicted to was Jedi Knight. Uh -huh. I love that game. I was like Catwoman. Cartman. Um, or Cartman on Warcraft all day, all night yeah. playing. Except I didn't say mom, mom bathroom. bathroom. Yeah, and then the yeah. mom brought the little... Um... Wipes and stuff. Oh, my God. That, that's... I saw that episode. Yeah. That was so nice. <laughs> I used to play on the PlayStation 2 the, um, the Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I used to play that with my kid. Oh yeah. Uh, Came unit says if he mows his lawn five times a week, how's there any grass left? It should be chopped up. Dirt. Yeah, he mows the dirt. It just blows mm. dust all over the no, neighborhood. No. That's a, I've seen people do that. You need a cloud to come of, and cloud pop, of dust. Um, cut our grass. He want to cut grass so bad. Yeah, mm. I haven't cut grass for the whole neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what. That's how you should handle that. Yeah, throw him five dollars to buy some try grass. To, <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> anyway, I think, yeah, I think the uh, Groovy Ghoulies was Chemtoy, and they came out around the same time that they did the Fat Albert figurines. Hank says, although King of the Hill was a great show, Mr. Khan and Cotton Hill made that whole show. Yeah. Yeah, they were good. Cotton Peggy was, was, an, was annoying. She was very annoying. 
Cotton was good. Mm-hmm. And the friends were good. Dale was good. Uh-huh. Um, who was the other one? Dale, Boomhauer. And um, I don't know what the other guy name was. <laughs> Dale was the one that was married to the woman that was cheating on him. Yeah. It was the other, the other friend was the one sleeping with Khan's mom. I can't remember his name. Um, but Dale was the one the wife was sleeping with um um what was that the Indian name? Red uh, Red, Red Corn. Corn. Yeah, Red <laughs> and they Corn. had a son together. Yep. <laughs> I what are you two going to be looking for at the next toy show? No idea. Yeah. Because we, we look at it in terms of target of opportunity. Yeah. Because if you look for anything specific, either it won't be there or it's going to be so expensive it'll make your head spin. So we we just look at everything. Yeah. And, you know, if there's something we happen across that fits with, uh, with our collecting needs and it's reasonable, there you go. That's how we do it. You know, I always thought a, a good, if they ever brought um, King of the Hill back, mm-hmm. a good plot device would be that um, Dale's son is in the hospital and needs like a kidney or something. And everybody's terrified because they were like, oh, my God, because Red Corn's really his father. And then they test him. They And it, it comes down to everybody gets the blood test and it's not Red Corn. <laughs> because Dale always said, "Yeah, he's dark because my uh, because my grandmother's Jamaican," and it turns out he really is his father. <laughs> I think that would be a blockbuster plot. And Red Coin's like, "Wait, what? No, there must be some mistake." And Dale's, "I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. My grandmother's from Jamaica." <laughs> I think that would be brilliant, but you know. Been playing Link's Awakening on Switch, the original. I do buy physical exclusives on that, uh-huh. by the way. Yeah, I Cotton like was cotton. good. Cotton was funny. Cotton was funny. I especially said, when I he always wanted... wanted a child named Hank. My name is Hank. No, real, what do they call him? Good Hank. Good well, Hank. well, I'll call him Good Hank. G-H. <laughs> yeah, G-H. Little <laughs> G-H. Hank. There you go, boy. <laughs> Don't know. He just rides and rides. I'm lucky. Oh, he just yeah. talking about the uh, mowing the grass. He probably lift up the blades. Yeah, of course, Dale is. Cool. I can't see. Says his name. Bill. Bill. That's yeah, right. Bill. Bill. Bill is the one that was sleeping with Khan's mom, and then he had that flag, and Khan was late for work. The, the, the... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hey, Shug. Yeah, that's what uh, Dale's yeah. wife would say. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Screw Your Feelings said that they're glad that they're the only ones that, uh, you know, not the only ones that thought Peggy was annoying. Peggy was ridiculous. They they showcased that when she got in trouble in Mexico and she was in court. <laughs> and the guy was like, uh, actually, the attorney he was like, actually, let me have her explain it in her own words. Yeah, in, in Spanish. Spanish. Please go ahead. <laughs> she just and, they, and they put the subtitles and everybody's like, what the hell? <laughs> and the judge is like, oh, clearly she really doesn't understand anything. Oh, Bobby's going to be an adult? Oh, wow. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> Maybe... I don't like Bobby. I hate Bobby's character. Bobby was fine. Bobby's a bastard. <laughs> and he gets away with uh, he gets away with murder. Bobby was fine. He gets away Maybe with murder. Maybe he'll marry Khan's he daughter. Hurts, he hurts people. He burned the church down. Oh, and, and they, they blamed and it on covered Cotton. It and covered it up. Yeah, he's a little monster. I can't stand Bobby. Uh, how's the weather there? Oh, it's nice and warm. Yeah, it's been nice and warm the mm-hmm, last few days. The, over 70 degrees. It rained um, the last two days. Yeah. Um, yesterday it was it was raining, yeah. but that was good for our garden because we got our garden going. Um, but it's nice and sunny, and tomorrow we got to do yard work mm-hmm. because it's hot. So when the summertime comes, it's time for yard work. Gilgamesh said the only console they still uh, they sold was the twenty six hundred. Oh. They still have the rest and have an NES in the box. Oh, wow. good! But the Atari twenty six hundred, it's never jumped off. Um, so you could still oh. go get one. And the majority of the cartridges is still inexpensive, and they made millions of them. So, you know. Sad, the actress that played Luann died. Um, yeah, Luann and um, Lucky got married and had a baby. I forgot what the baby name had a little girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Munin said Bobby and I might not be as funny as an adult. 
Well, he mm. wanted to be a stand-up comic, and he wanted to model himself after Yakov Smirnoff. So, and Hank thinks that would be an awesome plot for an episode. Yeah, <laughs> they, I thought so. Then he was <laughs> awesome. Let go of my purse. <laughs> That was funny. That's, that's I do the episode remember. where he was kicking people. Yeah, I do remember that because that's what they taught him to do in defense class because it was a woman's yeah, defense class. Yeah, that's the class. only thing that was available. <laughs> that was the only thing that was available. He's going to be standing in the, in the in alley. The alley. There you go. And oh, Blind God. Robot says her Spanish was on point. She <laughs> thought so. She thought so. She thought her Spanish was magnificent. Yeah. A, uh, substitute teacher of the year. Hey, BK, BK on the air. On the air. Glad How you could you? join us today. <laughs> but uh, that, that's substitute teacher. <laughs> substitute of the year. teacher of the year. If I don't win substitute, oh, and then when uh, Hank was going to win it, um, she decided that it was a partnership. Remember, <laughs> she she butted in on his uh, teacher of the substitute teacher of the year uh, for um took it took advantage. Let me see here. Looking up another, uh, looking up more values. How uh, much is the um, Thundercats vehicle? Which one? Cat vehicle. What's the Thundercats? Yeah. Uh, Thunder what, Tank. The, the Thunder Tank. The original Thunder Tank in the box. Yeah. I didn't mind getting rid of my game consoles mm -hmm. because at the time I got rid of him, there was a dip in value in video game market. So I just let him go. Dale might be funny as an old man. Everyone else, not too sure. I mean, if as long as they write the characters right, you know, it, it could still be funny. I don't know. We'll in, see. in 2000, yeah. Thunder Tank, Mint in the Box, $75. Really? <laughs> the um, Super 7 Thunder Tank made you see how small the original thunder tank was mm -hmm. that thing was tiny compared to that super seven thunder tank i died laughing when those fish were thrown in the water and jumped back on the hook for the crack <laughs> yeah and then we'll look at uh we can look at like an original star wars 1978 okay. mm -hmm. star wars because technically it was 1978 okay where the where they were released Although it's t it's called the 1977 series, mm -hmm. so let's take uh, a really popular character. How about Darth Vader? Mint on the card, four hundred and ten. How much is a Darth Vader now, roughly? A lot more than four hundred and ten. Really? Roughly off the top of my head, yeah. I'm not sure. But four hundred and ten dollars was a lot of money back in two thousand. Yeah. So let me see. Um, That's Star a lot Wars, of money. Darth Vader, mint on the card now since you brought it up let me see but i mean if you wanted to get stuff going but i mean there's some lines that i want to continue to work on and do some stuff with you know like i said before i want to finish my defenders of the earth yeah. i got my conan the adventurer um and i'm also getting that comic book line i got a bunch of it i'm almost finished with the comic book line um so it's some other stuff that that I want to do. Just focus on more vintage stuff so I can change my room around. Well, here's one that sold recently for twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> do the He Man figures fit in the Thunder Tank? Um, they should. They're smaller than uh, Thundercats figures. The, the LJ and Thundercats figures are taller than Ooh. Masters of the Universe. What if Bobby and Connie? end up getting married and have to raise Lucky and Luann's baby. <laughs> and then uh, Robert says, are they doing Thundercats Castle? I thought that'd be out. Cats oh, Lair. the Cats Lair. Did they? they, they Super 7 they commissioned did. that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super 7 did. Because I know... Um, oh, Brave Star and Captain Planet. That's a good one to look up. Oh, yeah. Brave Star. Yeah, Brave see. Star. So I'll start with Captain Planet. I'll okay. see if Captain Planet is here. So Captain Action. Yeah, but that that um Cat's Lair probably a beautiful while because it didn't come out until twenty well they um they they started selling it in twenty twenty three. Captain so, Action uh, Captain Planet is not in here. What yeah, about Brave Star? Brave Star gotta be in there. <clears throat> I'll be disappointed amazing. if Brave Star is in here. I like to collect old robots, but 
want too much. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, like from the fifties, Brave Star is not in here. Really? Wow, I know. I told you that yeah, book ain't about nothing. I know that book ain't about um, nothing. But um, yeah, the the old tin like wind up style robots and stuff like that. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. They can be pretty expensive. Yeah, bet. It's a cool line though, cool toys. It's one of those uh, things that are fading away. Mm-hmm. Because they don't do it. They've, they've made some replicas of some of the popular ones in recent yeah, years. Yeah, they did. Because Walmart mm -hmm. had a bunch like the Robbie the Robot or that one off of um, Twilight Zone. That You remember they had a robot on Twilight Zone that had killed that guy? They, they remade it. Somebody had sent you one. Edwin. They didn't kill anybody on uh, mm. on that show. That was still Robbie. Okay. Well, the, the Robbie still. was in a lot of stuff. You're yes. talking about B9. Mm. Didn't get the Brave Star yet. No, it hasn't shipped yet, but I did mm -hmm. order it. Um, and If somebody did a review, maybe they got theirs early, but yeah. mine haven't shipped. I ordered it directly from the manufacturer. Or you know from the company, sure. But it hasn't come yet. And they're working and on heard working anything. on doing a thirty thirty, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, but they haven't put it out to order yet because I want to get just those two. I don't think I would get anything else. That's enough for that because okay. you know I ain't happy. And then it's you know it's cheaper than the original, but still, and I was Hank happy was, to. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. Hank says they were happy to catch the stream tonight. I got to go pick up my wife from work well thank you for joining us and yeah. sitting with us and chatting for a while you know shooting the breeze that's what we and with do. that yes you know we probably need to go ahead and start wrapping things up mm -hmm. ourselves so hey thanks everybody for joining us here yeah. this evening and talking about that i know sorry there wasn't more in here it's not <laughs> a big book but it had a bunch of toy lines it's interesting to see what they thought was the top dollar value on stuff yeah. from certain periods like that. But there you go. And we'll try to do this again sometime soon. Yes. Thanks, everybody, to join us. Uh, thanks, uh, Stone Sour. Oh, for yes. making a donation to the channel. We very much appreciate it. Yes. And we'll go ahead and sign off, and we will try to do this again sometime soon. Okay. Good night. <laughs>